I do a guitar riff, Frank. You used to bring a guitar on the show. Well, yeah, but it's way over there. Uh, there's there. This is a narrow space. My belly drags on the desk. If I, I don't have. How'd you do it before then? I was at a different desk. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. So this week on me. TNT Podcast, we have me, Franklin, Ian, and Benjamin. Hi, guys. Say something, Benjamin, so they know that you're oh, not yeah, me on right. a delay. Something, Benjamin. There it goes. Okay, let's play catch up in order of the windows that I see. Benjamin, what have you been up to? Uh, well, I've been dealing with the jet lag from returning from Canada land. Mm, that's great. What about you, Ian? <laughs> uh, now tell me about Canada. Waka waka. Tell me about what it was like when you joined the Mounties for next the month. I went to Canada, hung out with my girlfriend, saw a Weird Al in concert. It's pretty sweet. What? Yeah. That was a Canadian look like. That wasn't weird, Al. Oh no, no, that, that, was, that was Al. I mean, how would and you know? He had, he had Emo Phillips opening for him. That was amusing. They did yeah. they meet on uh, at midnight? What? Emu Phillips and Weird Al because they've been on the show together. Uh, well, first he's not an emu. He's emo. Uh, I must be emo. Second, they were in UHF together, so I think he knew him long before at midnight, Frank. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because, you know, four of us people saw that. I have a uh, somewhere. Anyway. Yeah. So, Ben, how's, how's uh, your girlfriend? Did you hose her? You hose her? What? What? I'm sorry for that joke. <laughs> for our, for our foreign <laughs> listeners and viewers, I did air quotes joke, which means sarcasm. Sarcasm is when I don't know how to how do you explain sarcasm? Because you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, it, well, see, it uh, just goes over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. Oh, catch that! No, on um a video I watched on YouTube, the guy speaks English and Japanese, and someone said, how come your personality changes when you speak a different language? He says, well, because there is no actual way to do sarcasm in Japanese. He's like, that's why, he's like, I had a relative who went to America, and she said, why are the, does everyone do this? And she did it, finger quotes. And she didn't well, understand what that meant. It's like talking to somebody from the 90s and trying to explain what a nut joke is. Not! Yeah. This suit is not black. This suit is black nut. Thank you, all right. Uh, what else, how far back did people use LOL? LOL? This, that was with yeah, the creation of the internet. Back in chats, back in the 90s? When, uh, I think when uh, Instant Messenger Early. came around. Yeah. Word. Anyway. So what, did you uh, do anything... Fun, interesting, Ben. Did you get a lot of drawing done with that Apple Pro? Mm. You mean my my uh, iPad Pro? Yeah, I've your done, iPad Pro. I've done some art on it. I uh, I meant to, to work traditionally that uh, this year's a quick draw lockdown, but I ended up oh. working with it just a regular iPad stuff. I mean, um, Wacom, you know, stylus and working that way. Still fun times though. Fun times. Um, uh, drove a little bit, you know. They they drive in kilometers per hour instead of miles. So yeah, yeah. Aren't we the only place that uses miles? Not the only, but you who know, else? We're, I'm sure people that have to deal with us. Um, no, hold on. This is the imperial system, right? Yeah. Who uses the imperial system? The empire. Do, 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 oh, do, uh, do, do, do. Okay. There are three countries which are not using the metric system. Liberia, 
Myanmar, and of course the United Myanmar? States of America. Sure, Ben. That's how you say it, so. There's fucking three. It's like the, you know, the Paris Climate Accord, the only other country fucking joined, so we're sitting there. <sighs> so we're yeah. the only dumb fuckers who don't use metric. That's... Oh. This fucking well, map is embarrassed. Like, hold on. The main problem I don't like about the metric system is it's like it's either a really big unit or it gets really small after that, you know? It's fucking 10. How much easier could it get? No, you have like millimeters, which is, and then like a thousand more of that. It's, uh, it's a meter. It, then it's still multiplied by fucking ten. You can count with your fucking what? fingers. <laughs> so let's say we measure stuff by let's see a thumb's width. Um, this one yeah. dude's arms it's width. Like cubits. Yeah, let's see a cubit. I used to know what a cubit was. Uh, no, that was Bill Cosby. You can't make that joke now. No, no one remembers that. So it's cool. I can act like I made it up. Uh -huh. So anyway, <clears throat> what's uh, what's Ian been up to? Well, I'm still at the dog's house, as you can see here. I got one of the puppies here. Oh, ooh, yeah. let the dogs out sleeping. Um. Yeah, I forgot to tell Frank. He thought I was going to come back next week, but I forgot to tell him I'm, uh, I was here from last Friday to uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, I went uh, – today I, w I walked down to – there's some fields and stuff that I did some, like, 360-degree pictures with. And, like, I got sunburned, as you can kind of see. <laughs> Not really. Oh man, so everything's got like a pink hue in there. Yeah, well, you can see like kind of like my the side, and then it's, you can kind of see the knuckles there. Just wait till it starts peeling. That's the best. That's what's the gross when you have like the long strips that you peel. Off. And you just start doing that. What, what was that movie? You move the you move the headstones, but you didn't move the bodies. You know, so you just start doing that peeling. Yeah, dude, that was like. <laughs> When I was a kid, that was, like, really disturbing, man, watching that part with the mirror. There's that, and then that part where she was in that water with actual bodies. <laughs> it's like, ah! Anyway. Was, was it the first one where that, that medium lady, she, like, melted in and it looked like meat or something? She, like, uh, fell into pieces. I forget. Right. It was just, like, an illusion or something. <laughs> <laughs> Those, so back, back then it's like they really like with all the practical effects and stuff they use like everything looked like really gross and disturbing you know well you know stuff was real so like you know you didn't go that looks fake it's like well yeah. it looks fake but it looks like a real thing doing something and it's creepy <laughs> yeah like yeah, remember the always... thing oh yeah this, that's the biggest comparison is you got the thing to its prequel that that you know it's all CG and eh. you know what I mean yeah well, it's it's always like they always did a good job where they had like they did like put slime on it and or like put like thin like film over so it looks like it's like the skin's pulling apart or something like that you know like alien shit. Mm, alien shit. Aliens. Yeah, you know, like that aliens. ancient aliens guy where he's like, has the crazy hair. Remember that, that kitten so was all frazzled? Were, what if the pyramids were actually Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci time traveling aliens? What? That, I, I, I think, therefore, aliens was one of the memes. No, no. Aliens. No. Anyway. No, dog. Then they so, had Samuel L. Jackson with the hair, and it's the same motherfuckers. So, uh... So, Ian's Wait. dog sitting. Yep. What else should it do this week, sir? Uh... 
I was just setting up. I I ended up restoring. You know, I, I had to reset my Android box a little bit ago, and then now that I had a bunch of free time here, I was just like trying to get back all my settings and programs on it. I brought my four terabyte, my little pocket hard drive, so I I have that set up on there. At least I can watch some my movies and shows and shit. Mm -hmm. And like since I've been taking pictures and stuff, I've been kind of like. Uh, thankfully it has like an SD card slot on it actually. So I was able, like when I was done taking pictures, I was able to uh, put them on the Android box and, you know, like store them on my hard drives. So I don't have to, cause I only have like a couple of SD cards and there's not like, I didn't bring, I didn't really bring a computer over this time. Sometimes I did in the past where I brought like my computer and monitor and stuff, but it, it's just like, mm -hmm. that's too much of a hassle right now. You know, dog, you feel me? I feel you, dog. I need to get one of those, like those LAN computers where it's got like a handle on the case or something. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Like one of those. Don't they have like a thing where you have like a whole like rig where it's like a back computer on your back and then you have like a monitor mounted to your chest or something? I mean, you could get like a a nook and just like a wireless uh, keyboard and mouse, and then plug it into your TV. Yeah. If you really wanted to be small and portable about it, be the size of a fucking hard drive. <clears throat> right. I saw Bitwit did a video. He built one and was using a monitor for a like a Raspberry Pi and playing PUBG on it at like eight hundred cool. by something. Okay, so uh, what has Franklin been up to? <laughs> well, I know I he already it. did, you Frank. No, he didn't. Started in the order of Ben, Ian, me. So I finally got a, right, fucking weep. I finally got an AC unit in here. It's nice and cool. Makes a world of goddamn difference. Oh, I um, bet. Yeah. Um, because like today was kind of warm. It was eighties. So oh it shit! Had his balls. Someone's dragging someone oh, out of here. Uh, I thought it was Doug at first. No, you guys know it's date night. Uh, you know it's date night. Ooh, uh, ooh, what a night. I asked him if he wanted to stay in. He said no. She's gonna, gonna club you over the head with a rolling pin and drag you out of here. The rolling pin isn't required. Uh, she is. Frank well, uh, was explaining correct. how his wife installed the AC unit without him. So, it, yeah. I mean, I picked it up and put it in the window, but that's where I, my usefulness ended. It was like, get out of the fucking way. Yes, dear. <laughs> okay. You, sure yeah, you would do sound very alike right now. That was funny. Yeah, and Ian's dog sitting. Show her the puppy, Ian. Puppy. Hey, the puppy. Hey, she's sleeping. Aww. 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 Taking naps. Yeah. Her name is Zoe. Zoe. That's Golden a good name Zoe. for a pupper. Yeah, like Zo the old show Zoe 101 on the Disney. I, I wouldn't know. I. Me either. Is that like the sweet life of Zach and Cody? Or yeah. you know, those other tween shows that I don't watch because yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. a creeper? Because you're not a tween? Yeah, I'm a 35-year-old man. I feel kind of weird watching... Do you guys get Nickelodeon up there in Canada? I don't know. I don't. What, do you, have what cable, do you got? So you got some kind of cable? Oh, you don't got a cable? Not anymore. You I do like Cody Netflix box. or something. I have a Cody box. So uh, I just stream everything. Yeah, I, I had to reset mine recently. Yeah, I was just telling them I had to redo everything. I have to fix mine, but. I don't watch much TV anyways. So. She just wants to be able to catch the hockey. Mm -hmm. As long as she can watch the, the men beat the shit out of oh. each other. Oh, and... I have to call my sister. I'm going to put you guys on mute, and I'll be back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, before you go on, Frank, by the way, I got... Uh, for the first time ever, I, got, I actually got a... 
a virus on my phone. Yeah, I had something like that. Well, what were you doing on it, Ian? Well, were I was just I prom? was playing this one game, and they have like these. In order to get like extra things in the game, they let you get uh, like, hey, install this app and run it. So I would do that a bunch of times with different games, and then just uninstall it because I didn't really get mm-hmm. a fuck about the other games. I that's, like, I would never do that. The one like, I got. You, you you hear reports on like stores with like malware getting circulated that way. Yeah, uh, trust me, I'm probably not gonna do that. And again, you know, but it's just like I kept getting a pop up that says, "Hey, your phone's infected." They're like, yeah, sure, like, like, like you're gonna fix it. What? Yeah, uh, just like malware. They didn't say I had to like. I had to pay money to get it unlocked or something, you know, like that FBI ransomware shit. Oh man. I uh but what about you, Frank? What happened with yours? Well, I had a one of those apps that's like, you know, they stopped being supported in the uh Chrome store like the Google Play Store. So I've downloaded the APK and I didn't um, even know like I had this notification. And I'm like, what the fuck is this even for? Because I thought it was like, you know how sometimes you get like a theme or something and it'll have a widget you didn't even know was in there? Yeah. So I, I looked it up. And when, you know, because I, I went to their website and they're like, hey, it, uh, this, because um, it, it, I thought it was an app I had because it was a battery notifier to let you know how much battery was left. And I thought maybe it was me because uh, my phone doesn't have a big one. Like it. I'm used to my old iPhone. You could plug it in, and a, the whole screen would just be the battery showing you the percentage. Now it's just a tiny little thing, and I want to be able to glance at it. So I thought it was something I yeah. installed, but it wouldn't let me uninstall it. And the website said, hey, man, uh, a lot of people are telling us that they're trying to uninstall our app. Our app doesn't do this, uh, so you probably downloaded some shit that wasn't right and told it to go ahead and run. So, and this was on my tablet. It wasn't on my phone. Now that I think about it. my, my older tablet, my Samsung tab that I don't even fucking use half the time. But luckily it, they explained, just go in and, you know, cause you can't just turn it off. You have to go in through like a back door and tell something else to stop and then go in and shut it off. And then uh, when you go to uninstall, the option is grayed out. You have to turn it. It sets it up as a, uh, default like a function in your phone like a higher level function that needs to run okay like you have to it's it gives you the option to disable it instead of yeah. installing yeah it you had to, you had to go in and disable and then uninstall and it's like fucking hell yeah so but well the one program that saved me you know like i think it helped my phone was uh that malware bites the mobile version of that Yeah, this was like I tried plus. various white virus shit on there, and it's like none of them could even recognize it, you know. But so, uh, is your phone back to normal now? Oh yeah, this was my, just my tablet, and right after I did that, it uh, you know it stopped. So so everything was cool, and then um, so I got a new AC. I got a new router. My my old router. The Wi-Fi would just disconnect. It, for some reason, it was a dual band, and it would drop the one of the bands, and then it would just disconnect, uh, even if we were connected with the power line adapters. And if one TV was watching any TV show, like it would <laughs> disconnect. And my wife's like, "What the fuck?" Because I, I was by myself watching it. She, like my wife wasn't even home and I was watching something and it disconnected. So I'm like, okay, this isn't good. So she's like, well, do we need to get a new router? I said, I guess so. So uh, we got a uh, TP link. It's not the latest gen. It's the one right before the newer gen. Actually the app on my phone that can control my uh, Wi-Fi extender. I bought it could control the newer gen, but this old, this one's just, just a generation before. So it doesn't recognize it. But it actually, I've done speed tests with my Wi-Fi, and I've gotten up to like 118 down. That's not consistently. Sometimes I'll get like 60 to 90 down, but 
That's more than I've ever gotten before. Yeah. So, you yeah. don't say, Mr. Bond. <clears throat> and then the, the TP-Link uh, extender, there's a WPS button on that and on my router, and I just... I tried to do it before with my old router, and it didn't, didn't fucking work. Um, and, like, literally just to have it in the next room from where the router was, it didn't want to connect. Like, it would drop from that. It said the connection was too bad. This one, I have it two rooms over... And I did the WPS, and it works. So instead of having to select a, a network that piggybacks off of my name, my main network, it uh, extends the network literally. So like out in my yard, I did a speed test um, at the gate to my back porch, like well the back fence. I walked out there and I did a speed test with the with my uh, from my regular router. I was getting two megabits a second down, which is shit. And then. Mm. After I hit the WPS button on both devices and it all lights lit up blue that everything was perfect, I went out and I can still get wow, wow, like, wow. between 30 and 50 or 60 megabits a second out in the yard. So, and I need that because when I'm mowing the grass, I use headphones and I, do, I like to listen to music on my phone. I don't keep music on my phone because I don't want to shuffle and go through everything. I just stream it from uh, like SoundCloud and shit. So to save on data, I use Wi-Fi because I'm fucking home. So, do they let you make playlists on there? You know, like a Spotify or something. I mean, yeah, but it's all user-generated content. So, oh, okay. But I mean, once you find a oh. genre you like, just go with it, man. But go with anyway, it, man. well, I was gonna ask your. Uh, you said your your wife uh, <coughs> uh, was trying to set up the AC unit, is she, like, better than you with the mechanical stuff and you're more of, like, the tech or whatever? No, she's she, pretty good with the tech, too. She didn't try to set it up. She did it. She Because, well, the one in the bedroom she's taken out and put in before, because technically you're supposed to take it out every winter. And the last couple of years we just, I've been oh, lazy okay. and I haven't done it because I can't, we, this is a second story fucking house. So, like, if we don't put it in the extra closet in the bathroom we have like a storage room in there if we don't put it in there we have to take it downstairs so downstairs and then downstairs into the basement fuck that no mm -mm, no Just leave it in <laughs> so um <laughs> but no she's she's not too good with technical she can do mechanical and shit like that like not like i mean to a certain extent i i don't i don't Did she fix the car do you guys work on the car together no <laughs> She understands yeah. stuff on the car, but like, you know, I mean, I still like a newer car fucks with me because they're like, hey, you know, what's this mean? I don't know. My car has a carburetor. Yeah. If I can't fix it with the screwdriver, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so I understand certain aspects and so does she, but uh, plus she just got in and fucking did it. <laughs> It it's it you're not understanding here. Ian. It's a thing in the window. You can't have two people hovering over a window when you're trying to screw. It. Basically, you plop it in and you screw it down. If someone's already screwing it down, it's hard enough with your own hands. And some other asshole sitting there trying to help. Here, I hoping. No, get out of the fucking way. I, well, I tried to. Wasn't I tried it to hard for Barnacle? Hmm. Oh, she's. Didn't Barnacle do a video about setting up an AC unit or something like that? Yeah, but he did. A, he had a different one. His had a shell that like that you put braces on and shit. This one doesn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, this one doesn't have that. It just you stick it in, and then you close the window, and there's uh, the, <laughs> uh, and there's extenders you put in to keep the air from flowing in around it, and uh, you screw the brackets down. And then you put the new one has foam you put around it to keep extra air from coming out. This older one never had that, and we had it in the fucking window in winter and never had really problems with the with the cold air coming in. So, but so I said, well, we could skip that. But she was actually like, there's extra foam you can cut and slide into sleeves to keep the air from. It. Okay, honey, if you want to do it, <laughs> I am lazy, <laughs> but. Enough of this, Ian. All right. Well, what have, you, yeah, what have you been drinking? You said 
you made, you made a comment earlier. You're like, damn, that's good. Hold on, listen, Ben. You had to leave and get a, a beverage. What are you drinking, sir? A Baja oh, Blast a Tall Boy. Huh? A Baja Blast Tall Boy. Ooh. Ian. Uh, um, I got a a Baja Blast. I got a shorty. Oh. Yeah, it's it's not shorty. Tall boy. It's I, eleven inches around though. Think about it. Where's that from? American Pie. American Pie too. Okay, I couldn't remember. Or well, was it? The first a, one? I stopped. No, it in, was. I think it, maybe it was the first one. I, don't know. I I was doing some math today, guys, because I was watching YouTube videos. I, ben probably saw it on my Facebook. I realized that Johnny Cash died in 2003. It's been this September. It'll be fucking 15 years. Okay. I'm old. I was working. Did you know it, it's it is closer to the, uh, the T-Rex and the brontosaurus? The T-Rex lived closer to humans than he did to the brontosaurus age? Yeah. Hmm. I heard that shit. So I know that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> Tell me someone I don't know, motherfucker. Anyway. Your poutine is delicious. Huh? Poutine? Before before y'all leave, I, I gotta get Ben's opinion on this. <clears throat> what I was drinking on. Throw throwback on y'all. Is that a crystal Pepsi? Nope. Is a is a bottle of balls. Uh, cherry. Now Apparently, uh, Ian's asked before, well, what's a Kroger? He's They don't have Kroger, I guess, up where he's at. Kroger stocks balls, Ben. Really? Yeah, they had the regular uh, cherry. Damn, nice. They had regular cherry and ginger. And I'm like, I don't remember ever having the cherry, so I bought a bottle. It's $1.99 for this little uh, 10 ounce bottle. But you know, fuck me. That tastes like a bottle of cherries. Doesn't taste fake. It's delicious. I'm drinking a beer float. Ah. Yay. And then, for our spoiler alert for the, the three people that might, might be listening later on at the end of the show, uh, the, the new Fallout coming out. In, in honor of that. I got, I got the blue Jones soda since they put out a Nuka Cola and it was blue like that. So did, it's the same shit, just a, different label. Hmm? Uh, LA Beast was doing a, he did like some kind of rare, soda, yeah, rare beverage retro thing with the blue Pepsi. He drank a Billy beer. Pepsi he drank, blue. He drank a, a Seven Up Gold. Shit, they don't. They tell you not to drink anymore. Billy beer. Dude, with the dude I miss that Pepsi Blue, man. They used to have those at the vending machine at school, AIP. Eh, I mean, they're pretty much the same as Mountain Dew Voltage, I mean. Yeah. He, he had an... I think it was funny that the Orbits was what, one of the things that was making him kind of lose it. <laughs> uh, but anyway. So are you done with your phone call, babes? I am. I think we figured out the morning. What are you guys going to watch tonight? On the road by about nine, I think. Uh, well, we're, we're, I, I'm thinking we might watch that movie Coco on Netflix. Oh, okay. That sounds good. That. That movie what? Coco about, you know, that second Dio de los Mortos animated film. Oh, oh, that one. Okay. <laughs> She's like... Oh, oh, that. No, I thought you meant the one about Coco Chanel, and I'm like, sure, I'll watch that one. It was a good movie. Uh, somebody is causing trouble. Awesome. I'm going to get caught, tossed out now. I hope. I hope you. I shall return. You can't keep a cat out. Yes, we can. You don't have opposable thumbs. Come on. Go out the door. There you go. Yeah, I, I found a copy of that uh, 
that one movie I, I think it's called Upgraded or whatever. That newer one where he's like puts has like a computer chip in his brain and it's like it's pretty much like Jarvis in his brain and he can like do crazy uh you know like karate and stuff then, you know. I know kung fu. <laughs> is it is it like giant mnemonic? I never That's... you know, I never saw that movie. Mm. He's never seen Pulp Fiction, so I'm not surprised. Well, but anyway, Frank. I think hey, well, you haven't night. you haven't even seen Deadpool, so I saw the first one. I think it's date night, and I, I think my girlfriend's getting bored. <laughs> bored, bored, bored. I'm uh, bombarding him with cats. But, uh, those aren't ca cats; those are chairs, babe. <laughs> Some of them are cats. Uh, I bombarded you with cat pictures. Okay, well, goodbye, guys. I'd like Have to bombard you with other stuff, too. Really? Well, then, I should probably get going. Uh, so, I met yeah, dogs. Okay, I, guess. I met puppers. I know what you're thinking. Oh, you, you weren't going to bombard him with the cat? Actually, if you're talking about dogs, I have a, a funny little dog video I can share on the on the show if I could find it again. Is Goodbye. this the one from last night? Yeah, I, I, it's circulating other places, so I'm just gonna just the link. Come on, Twitter, why you do this to me? You show me a thing, but then I try and find it later. Oh, it's too bad you can't stay on, man. You gotta go. Okay. Bye. Bye. What? <laughs> Bye. But. Bye. Are you trying to get rid of me now? Because maybe I'll just hang what? out. No, there. bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> trying to see it. Oh, Lord. It's a, vi it's a video of me when I pet a dog. Yeah. It's, it was the, the subtitle. But... Here, I'll find it. It's riveting. Oh, I always have to do everything. Cause you're the good one, and I'm the boyfriend. Yeah, I know. I'm cute, though. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that. Huh. That okay, shit gets old real quick. It? Me when I pet a dog. Right. Remember? Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Right. Well, see you next there week. You you're... Yeah, Ben, you're you're almost as cute as Frank Selfie on his Hangouts profile. You mean his llama picture? I mean, llamas very down are cute, but I don't know, man. I just don't. Uh, I'm not I'm not crazy about how stuff on the internet has moved from chronological display to. We'll show you some. This this was posted three years ago, but. Yeah. Just see it now. Gotcha. Dog pets another dog and he smiles. That's that's adorable. Okay, well, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have yourselves a fun weekend. No, we're not done yet. Have a good date night. <laughs> I still I have more for you. Bye bye. No, I'm not leaving. Bye bye. Are you going somewhere? No, but you're about to. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm taking over your show tonight. Yeah. Well, Ben, I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye to you. Okay, you going then? No, you guys are gonna though. Can you boot me off of this call? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, you can. Oh well. Why would you want to do that, Frank? Well, because you got places to go. No, we don't. I'm on my sofa for the rest of the night. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys have a good night. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Well, bye bye, guys. Uh, Thanks for coming on. So, Ian, what you been up to? I've been watching the dogs. 
in the dog. Do they do yeah. tricks? Do they do tricks? Uh, a little bit. You know, like basic. Cool. Like, Are these your parents' sit. dogs, or? Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> so, how's Morgan doing? She's good, but you know, I'll talk about it later, guys. She installed the air conditioning. And yeah, that's bye. Good. That's a good wave. Have a good date night. Bye. -bye. Oh. Look at that one. That's a cute kitty. Okay, Ben. Hold on, I gotta take a look at this kitty. Well, Aww. you can check it out uh, later. Goodbye. Oh, I'm posting them in, in the group chat so we can all look at them together. Bye-bye. Uh, no. uh, well, I can't dog. look at them because I'm on mobile. Uh, okay. Hi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you booted them out. What? Is they were, they had to be on the road, on the road, a boot nine, she said. They were, they were kind of spamming the chat there. Uh. So. But why? She but yeah, she totally said a boot, a boot nine. Would you like to get in? Were they call? talking about that one time where they were like, she just kept going on about it or whatever, something with her? I don't Was know, it like pencils or something? Oh, uh, snails. <laughs> don't know. I guess you weren't doing a good job of entertaining her, I don't think, Frank. Battle stations. Station. 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 All right, hold on. Let's screen share here. Pardon me. Whoop. Pretty happy with this right now. The Dell in portrait mode looks mint and is super useful. Yeah, these are just, uh, I went onto the workstation subreddit, so there were a couple of decent ones on there, so it's like. Whoa. Why has this guy got two iPhones? I don't know, maybe. Maybe he's like really vain or something, I guess. I don't know. He needs to take a lot of Instagrams. Nah, he's a. Uh, this one's for the bitches, and this one's for the hoes. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then he's got two, like, he's got two phones right there. Like, two desk phones. Yeah, Nate's got a lot of, like, burner phones. He's always trying to do the hustling. Hustling, hustling. No, I mean, oh, like... Yeah, I was gonna... <clears throat> I forgot to ask you, where did you get that APK from? Was it that... Wasn't there, like, a, 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 like a Play Store type of thing where you get all the APKs from the you know like even like the basic apps or whatever like an APK just for YouTube or something mm. <coughs> I don't know but oh this is Doug, this is Doug's what dream up here if you notice he's got like iPhone box uh, two Apple TV boxes some other mm -hmm. Apple box yeah some crap piled on there but he's got yeah, a cordless free. phone, he's got a corded phone, and he's got two iPhones. I don't fucking know what's going on here. But Yeah, some of these, I'm not sh sure like if they even have a tower, so it's like, well, I don't this, judge on that too much. Yeah, this is an iMac. Must be a newer model, because the secondary display, uh, you can't... You can't run a secondary display on a older, well, an 07 iMac. You can't. Newer than that, I, I think you can, because mine, I, I couldn't. 
Yeah, I noticed with a lot of these like office type of things, they it's all like Apple stuff, you know. Well, like it's kind of funny. He's got the Android, Android, but there's no fucking Androids in here. It's all Apple shit. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Sad boot. What's all that to boot? What's the Dell product name? Not sure to be honest. Um, yeah, like I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of glad that you, uh, you were doing hosting the show tonight because, like, I would never, I'm too nice of a guy to like boot anybody off. Well, I, 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 I said, you know, have fun. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, you are. This is the same dude. Oh, it is. Yes, just from a different angle. Uh, <laughs> you can't tell. No, it was kind of hard because you could. The, well, I didn't. I <clears throat> thought it was like different colored lights over there, so it was like. I nah, thought it was a different type nah, of thing. No, nah, he's got purple lights under the desk. See the see. There's that wood monitor riser with a Groot in the middle and two androids, right? Right. And see if you go to this one, it's, it's monitorizer with a Groot in the middle and two androids. It's the same one, just, just uh, I mean, it's a cool angle. Let's me see what kind of brand of headphones those are. I didn't have a clue. Hmm. Um, I mean, the lamps from my Kia, I have the same one, so it's pretty cheap and functional. I enjoy it. Oh, uh, he's got the IKEA plant. He's got the shitty chiclet keyboard, but it's the Apple wireless one, so whatever. Okay, I'm gonna. I found another one. I'm gonna uh, message you. Okay. Okay. Yes. Updating so live is... on the air. Fuck it, we'll do it live. That's right. Fuck it. Frank will get that drop live. So he's got two laptops here with two big ass monitors and a tower down on the floor there. Hmm. Must be a pain in the ass to have to move that tower with that dresser thing right there. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know, you know, whatever works. Hmm. I don't know why that, why would that guy put like the same setup on different, just different angles and different posts? I, I've seen guys literally do the same picture just with lights on and without and do it as a new post. And they're like, why? Just spam that Reddit, huh? Yeah, they're like, why did you post it again? And then what well, the one, the guy was like, repost. Oh, I just realized it was the same guy. Oh, I apologize. There are three laptops because this this MacBook is sitting on top of another laptop. You can see it better in this shot. See? Yeah. Zoom, 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 enhance. Zoom. <laughs> Sound effect. So. So okay, we got the dude is pretty happy. His Dell portrait. Um. So that that new one replaces the second shot of the portrait, and then your third one. Huh. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh my. Hmm. Hmm. Nice fat MacBook there. Yeah. Some kind of tablet thing in the middle. I can't tell what the hell. <clears throat> Please do not shut down this computer. <laughs> Internet Explorer. Well, Edge, I'm sorry. 
Don't push me, cuz. Close to the edge. So. Exactly. So this guy is a mixer. Let me see Mixing here. Mixing it up. <laughs> Did you see the... You posted this three times, dude. Sorry, my Reddit <laughs> broke, I suppose, and kept saying that the post failed. I guess it did. My apologies. Yeah, that, that workstation subreddit it doesn't seem very clean. There's The mods aren't really all over the place like they're supposed to be. Uh, now, Battle Station, that's you get like AAA service on that shit, but workstation right. is like... I think, I mean, you, you would think it would it would be better than Battle Station because it's like official type of work computers, you know. Well, that's the thing. The dudes are too busy working. Battle Stations, they're like showing off our shit, and then they got little kids, and they have yeah. to regulate it. They actually have a like they made a bot that goes around and uh, like <laughs> removes people's shit, and you'll see it. Sorry, your thing has been removed because we believe this violates whatever. If there's a problem, contact an admin, and they get mad. Because it usually won't actually be. If a bot removes it, it's not actually some shit that, like, like uh, the guy's like, finally, you know, got done and got my own setup. And then they'll be, sorry, this is removed because it has a pandering title. Yeah. And they're like, not really, dude. Pandering title is when they're like, this is all I can afford at nineteen or at seventeen. Well, who gives a fuck? You know, not too bad right. for a thirteen-year-old. Who gives a shit? I don't. First comment is always, "No one gives a fuck how old you are, kid." Right. Yeah, I don't know. Like, how is it that so many people on YouTube like are getting demonetized, even though if they don't have anything in the metadata or something? You know, it's like, is, are people like reporting that stuff and be like, "I'm going to get you demonetized." Mm. You know, or like, because I think, well, I, I don't know. Do they have some kind of like AI thing that they put in there at least to, you know, like so they could do the captions so they know what you're saying? I, you know, I don't know, man. Google does it all. <clears throat> I uploaded a video and it didn't even have to sit and be idle. Like as soon as it got done uploading, it's like, no, this is a copyrighted work. And I'm like, w w it's got music over top of it. It's parody. But nope, yeah. nope, it got flagged before it even posted. Oh, uh, our our video got flagged last week. No, this is something I posted years ago. Uh, okay. <sighs> anyway, yeah. well, like that one time, I was kind of surprised because, like, uh, I, when we got demonetized because of Doug shit or like another mm -hmm. video, and it was only like it was like a little video down in a little corner, so it's like. That they must have had to be scanning like every pixel of the video or something, all at something the same that, time. Like <clears throat> the algorithm, uh, the, Google's like, we have faith in our algorithm. Yeah. Well, I we must faith say, money. I must say, I like the guy's corner station with the three laptops probably best, because while this is professional and probably does something, I see one laptop. And, and a control board. And then some thing over here that I can't even tell what the fuck I'm looking at. Okay, so go through them again. Okay. This so your is... first one here. Blow it up. So everyone knows. Your first one is the guy with the portrait monitor. And I went ahead and left the second you know, picture in because it's the same one, but better picture. So Is that a better angle, you think? Yeah. Shows a little more. Yeah. <clears throat> um. And then your your guy with the three laptops, a little cluttered, but he's got better gear. Like his wife gives him a nice little allowance to play with. Right. So I, this I, one I don't, is your favorite. I, don't, I mean, if I had to choose, yeah. And then. Probably the portrait guy, and then the radio, a radio workspace. That's all. Uh, all it says. So I guess this is for a radio show. Hmm. hmm. Someone said fifteen days ago. Pretty cool. Is this an internet radio show or? Where's how the pros do? So. 
you know, on, uh, just, they just post a picture and they don't read. Why do people do that? They don't read the comments. They don't comment. Don't know. But TV yeah. killed the podcast star. Okay, so what is your um, number, sir? Uh, I I like this one the best, and then yours that you chose favorite second, <coughs> and then the other one well, is last. Your this one has thirty three. My corner workspace is eighteen, and then your portrait dude has eleven and forty seven. So if you split the difference, uh. He, I guess he wins because he has 47. Oh. So, Mark Jordan, 36, you win a peanut. Peanut. Oh, peanut head. Okay, I'm going to... I grabbed a few because I thought you might have some of the same stations I did. But... My theme was, these are badass. Because when I clicked on them, I go, man, that's badass. <laughs> so that's my theme. Friends' my... theme is good battle stations. Yeah, what they should be. Here, here's my first one. Bad Al. Pretty, pretty crazy. The, the title is... Uh, the wallpaper is bleeding out of the screen because if you look, they got the the top color is red, so the you know the RGB is red. It's got yeah. blue, blue and green in the you know water, which they also have in their modern rain meter stuff, which they also have reflected in their keyboard, which they also have reflected in the RGB. So that's that's the way uh, it's made to make it look like uh, is that amb is that what they call ambient light? Yeah. Where, where it goes around and it extends the display beyond the borders. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's really what they did here. Uh, this, to go with that jade color, they got a little Buddha on the GPU. Isn't that cute? It goes around. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, really, I mean, other than the little rats nest of wires they got down there, which you can't really see because you don't notice it. You look at all this shit here and go, damn. Well, it, you know, like we, we are on people with uh, cable management, but really it depends on what type of desk you have, you know, like if you have like a glass desk like mine, you really got to be anal about it, you know? Right. I mean, this has a little bit of a skirt underneath it. So it's, you know, and they pushed it all in the back. I mean, you can't really see it. The lights are out, which I, I should be more of a stickler for, but you can totally tell that's a Corsair keyboard, and I know which model because I can see the macro keys and yeah. the window. You can clearly see everything that's going on in that PC, but I think it's just pretty dope. By the way, did you see a, that update video? I don't know if you were you started watching the thing, uh, the episodes on Jay's channel with the Post Malone build. No, I I saw the uh, thumbnails and I figured I'd wait until it was all done and then watch it, you know, because I don't want to go. Oh, I want to see and then not see anything for like six weeks. Yeah, yeah, he's been working, you know, like trying to wait for parts and stuff. It, it was a lot like the what was it? Uh, who did he do it for? The Shaq Terry or Cruz. whatever? Oh, Terry Crews. That's right. Yeah, he he did the Terry Crews oh, wow. build and that took him forever because he was waiting for parts and shit. But uh, yeah, he yeah, did it up. To, shit. Yeah, Boop. well, he he showed the case, like the case off first, and uh, he put the motherboard in there, uh, because the uh, the case I guess it had like, you know, it was like tempered glass, but it had like, like the water cooling mm -hmm. loop built into the case, where it's like it had like, you know, like clear. It looked like clear channels where the liquid was going through, and the side it was pretty cool. I heard I saw that as a, the title of the video. The channel, the loop is built in or something. Yeah. Which I mean, I think that's pretty cool, you know. Something different. Um, yeah. But yeah, I always wondered, like, with the name, I wonder if they're gonna do a post post Malone video. 
Do you like Post Malone? Uh, you know, I really don't know. I don't know him that well. I mean, the only other time I really heard about him, the first time I heard about him was he was a guest uh, star on one of those ghost hunting shows. Mm. The Ghost Adventures. <clears throat> so I guess he gets into the paranormal stuff. I like, uh, I mean, granted he does like rap and all kinds of crazy shit, but like he, he, uh, did, um, I saw a video of him live. He did a cover of a sublime song and he was singing like Brad. It was pretty good. So I had my respect for that. But, That's pretty cool. But, but he's, he's not a handsome dude. Now he, he reminds me of like the type of guy that you see like one of the ICP guys or something. I bet you he is a juggalo. What did they say? Uh, the dude was saying is like, and the new Post Malone album, he needs a shower. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it is pretty cool. I mean, I I bet she's pretty down to earth, you know. I just find it interesting because Jay is like, he he gets like these celebrities and stuff, even though he's not like the craziest, you know, like tech YouTuber, I guess. And, like the biggest, I mean. One. Heck, Linus doesn't even. I don't even know if Lion did they even have a celebrity on their channel? Uh this look at this. I look like Beyonce. And someone said, You look like Post Malone. <laughs> so for for reference, guys, everyone knows what Beyonce looks like. Yep. Um now and you I've been told I I look like everybody, my, everybody in my church. Says I look like what was it? Uh, what was it that they one of the uh, Kylie Jenner or one of the Jenners? So, yeah, that's post Malone. Hey, hey, hate to say it, dear. <laughs> yeah, you look like post Malone. He ain't no Beyonce. And I, I ain't even been on fan. Smell a vision. So anyway, this is the first setup. <clears throat> you imagine it's like, oh yeah, this image is embedded with these smell parameters, you know? <laughs> like, ah! Oh. Right. You know, like you have like a picture or something. I, I bet <clears throat> you they'll probably come out with something like that where it's like, you know, you get a nice scenery picture, and then you it'll you can start smelling like flowers and shit, and it's like, damn, it's like, oh. So here's the second one, is Doomsday Device. That's pretty cool. See what he did there? His walls, and his wallpapers, and his keycaps, all kind of match. Dude likes Doom. So like, he's sitting there at his desk. So he kind of, I don't, I don't like his shelving that he has here. Though he has to look up to see his main monitor, and then he can look straight to the left or the right and see his. Uh, eh, eh. I mean, yes, I like, I would like my main monitor to be up higher, but I wouldn't have my tower and shit right in front of me. I can look, and there's a screen in front of my face. Hmm. But that's just me. I mean, yeah. Well, I. If for me, I kind of have to have them closer, you know. That's why I, when I was looking for monitor arms, I was really trying to uh, find out like the ones with longer arms on them. I guess. Well, I think that thing to the left, I think is like a surface. If I'm looking uh, at it correctly, but I can't fucking tell. I see he's got some guitars there. I wonder if he likes to do some doom riffs or something for the you know put in the game. Well, the one on the left is a Taylor, which is. Pretty good brand. I can't tell what the bass is off the top of my head. Oh. Six stream bass. Doom, 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 doom. My, I have on my playlist. I, I have some uh, old, good old classics from uh, the Quay games that were like Nine Inch Nails or some other Trent artists. Was, Trent was yeah, yeah. And he's got a Commodore sixty four. It's like damn man, they used to really put way more production back in video games back then. Yeah, because it's like when you got well, when you got 
a lot of people didn't know when you got like the CD for the game, you put it on your computer, you could actually play it in like an audio player, and they had like tracks yeah. on there and stuff for the soundtrack. Right. Well, I was telling me and uh, stupid Floyd if he's listening, he isn't. He's not listening this far in. Anyway, Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> no, stupid Floyd, the, the Xbox fanboy. Um, I I know I know. That's... We were talking about it, as 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 uh, Ian knows, he's a big fan of Jerry Barnacles, who worked for Microsoft. And Microsoft basically had him as their uh, software developers to find bugs and fix them. Uh, they totally got rid of that unit, and now they just release shit with bugs, and they wait for people to go, hey, Microsoft, this is fucked up. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. And, and they fix it. They don't fucking... They try to get it out so breakneck fast now that they don't bother testing it. They just release the shit. And they wait for people to find the bugs. And game developer companies are doing the same. They're mm. th- that that's why everything's the beta. T- the when spoiler alert when Fallout announced their new game that's coming out, they announced the beta. What the fuck is beta? You ask. It's when you get to be the guinea pigs and try to break the system. And <clears throat> what happens? Uh. Everybody and their brother decided to sign up for it because free game, free game. I want to play it. I want to be in there. I, you know, I pre-ordered so I could be in the fucking beta. It won't be a long beta. I don't care. I want to. I want to do it. I want to play as much as I can. And that's that's. I'm I, I'm like an employee to them. And then the the you know the kids who get in and make the mods, they take that and they directly make DLC from the fucking mod. Maybe throw a couple bucks to the kid. And there they go. They don't have to have you know software developers make DLC content for them. So they're you know they're lazy now. They're not putting in a bunch of work. That's why they can churn them out in a yep. couple of years. They before before for Fallout uh, New Vegas, they had to outsource it to Obsidian. Nope, they just they bought it. Well, they did acquire another country, or another company, another company. And they acquired them, and they made it using their engine, though. Right. But th- this is the Doomsday device, which is pretty dope, man. Oh, here's some more angles showing the custom lap desk. Oh, that okay. Is dope is pretty dope. <coughs> Here we go. Come on. Can you tell what my favorite game is, he says? Oh, okay. So he doesn't even... It, that's not even an actual desk. That's just a piece of wood he takes out. Any fucking like wow, that's <coughs> I mean, you fooled me, dude. That looks like a disc, right? Right, until I guess it's kind of. I wonder short. if he's got like go ahead, he's got what? What I was gonna say, it looks uh, kind of short for a desk, but you know, if he's just putting it up yeah. on his lap and then putting it back down on those side tables. Oh, he says that I, I thought it might be an Ibanez. He says a uh, Taylor mini acoustic Ibanez uh, SR five hundred six bass. Oh, I wonder if he's got like a buddy that he like, you know, kind of like us, where you know, me and me and Frank kind of like try to one up each other with the stuff, brag about it and shit, you know. You know, like or like a neighbor you get where you try to build it bigger and more extreme in your yard or some shit. Right. Uh, I wonder if he's got a buddy that has like an all quake station. Maybe. That there was actually somebody did a. It's better. Right. There was a. Uh, on. Ready. Someone. Uh, did I see your battle station or your doom station and I will one of you. <laughs> Which I don't know if they know oh, each yeah. other or if it was just some guy. Where is this? Go up here. Do search real quick. Hey, we're just some guy. <laughs> By the way, while he's doing that, how about. How about more eye candy here? Aw. 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 It's being very good. 
I played with the laser with them outside. I was telling Frank, you know, like they like to chase and run around the yard with the, the laser, and and I gave them some treats. So they're like pretty exhausted now. Guy says, "I saw your doomsday device and wanted to share mine. It's not as good. It's nowhere near as good. It's not no. Uh, no. This, yeah. So no, this is my so, third. Season. So wait a minute." Wait a minute, Frank, are you so you're saying his battle station is doomed? No, 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 no. No, sir. I don't know. You said it. <laughs> you said that shit. Anyway, so my third I and did. final this this is my third and final station. This fucker has been I saw this earlier this week and I said, I'm gonna talk about this because this oh, is Oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, tell me that it, uh, big monitor on top, small monitor on bottom, duh, and then I mean, I, I don't know. Only thing I don't like about this setup is where he put the fucking monitor and the keyboard and shit. I can't, I can't stick myself in a corner. I would feel stupid. I feel yeah. like I feel like that you're a bad boy. Stick weird. your gum on your nose and go stand in the corner. Yeah, well, I've been trying to debate because I was originally going to have like my drawing monitor in the corner. Uh -huh. uh, I'm kind of like having second thoughts about it, you know, because when I go back home, I have, I'm going to put the monitor arms and organize all the cords. So it's like I really got to decide what monitor is going where before I start wiring everything up, you know. Oh. But uh but that reminds me of, with with all with your anime that you watch the soap opera stuff, did the boy ask the girl out this week, Frank? Uh I'm actually behind on stuff. Oh really? Oh dude, I <clears throat> they put out productivity at my work and in my eight hour shift the other day I did ten hours worth of work. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm fucking tired. Hard. I'm tired, dog. I'm fuck I'm tired, man. So anyway. This device <laughs> I mean Liquid Cool got you know RGB. It's got uh Akai, little mixer board there with the pads for doo -doo -doo tapping out beat. The, what do they call those? Um, velocity sensitive, so you can tap it out, the drums and stuff. Uh, rocket tap, tap, speakers. Tap it out. They, uh, they probably want you to call them rocket speakers, but fuck that. They're rocket. Um, not rocat, oh, like the other one. Yeah. And I like the custom keycaps on the... Uh, Keyboard, you know, everyone has the same keyboard, but they do it a little bit differently. A little, 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 little bit different. Well, I was going to ask, now that you finally get into the tweak rooney stuff with your keyboard, are, are you going to eventually put some keycaps on there? Um, <clears throat> maybe. I might get some, uh, like, go ahead. I was going to show you that, or I was going to get... I still plan on getting those, uh, you know, like the like the shiny kind of like gunmetal color mm -hmm. key apps that I showed you that one time. Mm. I'm probably gonna get some. Uh, I want to get like a Annie Pro, like the little cheapy uh, keyboard. Get a couple of those and put some different keycaps on them so I can have different sets. Uh, you're just gonna do like the WASD and like some arrow keys or something. Well, like, um, one. give me one second here. Let me show you what I, what uh, kind of keycaps I like. Drag it over. <clears throat> Something like this. Oh, okay. Some 
crazy shit. Is that like a color theme, the pink and blue? Because I, I thought you had that on yours. I mean, I have it on my RGB right now, but... Uh, but, uh, you know. I'm not sure if that was like certain video game colors or something like that. Nah, it's just like retro. They call this one Miami. I don't know if it's from... Uh, I see. I don't know if it's... Uh, Makes sense. I don't know if it's from like Hotline Miami. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Like, I kind of like pastels. Like, of course, this doesn't show that well. Zoom enhance. Like this. <laughs> looks like a pack of tomes. It does. And they're, see, they're side printed. So just looking up at it, you just see the blank tops. But if you really got to know what that, yeah. key, that key is, you turn to the side and look. Yeah, when I I'm gonna when I decide to start designing and three D printing out the keycaps, I'm gonna since I have a dual color three D printer, I'm gonna do. I guess you call it a double shot key, where the you know you can see through the letters or whatever. It's a different material. Uh huh. So that's gonna be fun. And Ooh, pain in the butt at the same time. That's pretty. Hold on. Hold on, dog. Yes, I saw there was this guy that got like in bulk, just like a, a bunch of random grab bag injected molded keys or something, you know, for like pennies on eBay or some shit, you know. On eBay. And he was he was like testing them out. Well like I don't even know what the hell this is from. It's a backlit bright rainbow OEM keycaps for MX switches on custom DIY mechanical keyboard, twenty three bucks. Hmm. Never been to this. Do you like to do it yourself? Get over forty year old virgin. Ooh. Yeah, I like the backlight. You know, it's not like or it says rainbow. Rainbow. But yeah. That's just some shit. I don't know. I mean I have a keyboard to use. It when I have enough money that like what am I gonna do this week? I feel like getting one of these. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm st still saving up. I might be able to get my camera in, that, in a few weeks here. Oh, shit. I should be able to have, like, I'll probably put aside, like, 800. What? Are you are yeah. you skipping meals? Don't starve yourself, man. No, I'm, I'm not. Well, I'm getting, like, a couple hundred from my parents for this, watching the dog and stuff, so. Oh, um, Cool. Yeah. Um, so it's normally the camera I want to get the ADD. It's normally like a thousand dollar camera. They have it for like seven, eight hundred on eBay. So, uh, brand new. Uh, so I was, I was going to get that. Uh, but what, like, if you had eight hundred dollars right sitting in your wallet, what would you do with that shit? Just like Vega all the way? We'll see. See, the Vega card I want, I want 64, but I can't use it with my current power supply. And even if I upgrade my power supply, my CPU might bottleneck. So if I go with Vega, I'm either going to have to get a 56, put it in, and then eventually upgrade, or just build a whole new fucking thing. So I don't know. I'm every, All I'm doing right now is pricing and looking at shit. To where I know things oh, dude, are going to Go ahead. They got a 580 now for like 240, man. I saw. I knew yeah, that. Yeah. 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 It, it's, it's, it's insane. It's like MSRP right before the thing goes out to like, oh, no one wants those anymore. <laughs> I just... Yeah. <clears throat> I want to get the maximum FPS for 4K because... You can push, uh, you know, 4K. I push 4K with my uh, 380, 
but it's a four gig card. So yeah. it's 4K as well as I know it. If I put in a Vega card, I'm I'm not even gonna recognize what the hell I'm doing. So Right. Well how much like if you get like a five eighty eight gig card, like how much more frames are you gonna get out of a fifty six? Well, I mean the the RAM is probably what makes all the difference. So I mean, a five A would be a noticeable jump because it's you know three, four, five, several generations ahead. But if I go straight from the five to the sixty four or whatever, eh, I mean, I'm just I'm just weighing all my options. Luckily for me, spoiler, the Fallout seventy six that's coming out is basically off of the Fallout four engine, so it's basically the game I have now. <laughs> The only thing is the world. Yeah, I saw that you s- said boner, 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 boner. Yeah, I, I, I pre-ordered everybody. That's another thing on uh, Franklin said what he did. I pre-ordered so I could get the beta, and uh, I, I, all the like everything that's been teased and leaked. So you know that everyone bitches about load screens when you go between places. This is all online. So other than like going from indoor one place to another, when you're outside, it's supposed to all load at once. Is what the rumors say. I, I don't think Bethesda themselves have been quoted on it. Uh, if so, that's going to be very taxing on a shitty computer. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. Hey. So yeah, you got. <laughs> I should. Too bad we, we don't have a drop for uh, do the opposite of the boner 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 and play that Mister Softy music. <laughs> okay. So back to the that, question. Because that's here. what you got for that Wolfenstein <laughs> right now, man. Your boner for that went to Mr. Softy. Well, now you're all about the Fallout. Oh, dude, I've been all about Fallout for a long time. Wolfenstein's awesome, but they teased a new Wolfen- two new Wolfenstein games, by the way. So we'll get, we'll get into that. So if I had to rate my favorite is this one, by far. I like this before I liked any others. And after I liked all the others, I'm like, I still want this one. I would, oh, no. even though it's in the corner, I would sit at this desk. So you really like that one? It's not just because of the wallpaper, right? Go ahead, Ian. Tell me where she's from. <laughs> I have no idea where she's from. It's a girl from Overwatch. Oh, but. Yeah, no. I, don't, I I I like this setup. I like the monitor layout. I like I like it. It's good. Um then I would have to choose between this one and this one. While this one's cool and definitely has a lot going for it, I'd have to pick this one. Just like the colors and stuff better, man. You know, so I'm talking about the components, this? not just go ahead. Yes, well, I would say this would be my number one favorite. I'm not. Is that your second favorite then? Yes, and then Doomsday. Oh, okay. While while I enjoy it, if it was like by itself, this would be really cool. You know, to look at. But it, it this is badass. This is badass. And yeah, that's badass. Yeah, yeah I would have to say the Doomsday is my last, my third one, and then your other. This one would be my second one. I mean. Tell me, you know, this is this isn't badass. I mean, I it's pretty badass. Oh, oh. it's very clean. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Got the RGB what just did, te- tastefully enough. Yeah. What did the internet say? Well, this one has 148. This one has 75. <laughs> Hold on, let me refresh. Yeah. Hey. Hola. What's up, bitches? Como esta, bitches? Bitches. What's up, bitch? What's up, Holmes? What's going on, ladies? What you drinking there, Doug? Black cherry. Oh, black cherry. Ramble, ramble. Yeah, Frank was saying he's found some uh, 
what is it, a cherry ginger or whatever uh, balls? No, it's a, they have our Kroger's. Yeah, Kroger's, I, I got balls. Remember balls in generic, Doug? Yeah. Yeah, they got balls. I got cherry, and it tastes like actual, like a jar of cherries. It's fucking That's delicious. Cool. They have ginger and they have and the my, regular. I'm gonna have to get some more up there. And my do- doggy's up. Oh, so oh, pretty. Hi, yeah, baby. I'm watching the dogs for my parents. The dogs are fucking so. weed. Oh, you take that back. And Kick his ass. Oh, hold on, hold on. Put the video back on the dog. Okay. What's the, what's the dog's name? Zoe, it's a girl. Zoe, it's a, it's Zoe, a thing a female dog. Zoe, if you like anime, lay there. Not... Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. <clears throat> well, Doug, what do you think of this setup oh, right him. here? Yeah, show them that setup. Then. All right, let's see here. Bad Al. Pretty colors. What? No, I think he's gonna have something to say about that demon setup. Um, what, 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 what the hell's on the screen? Um, that would be a girl with tanks with some robot girls in it. I don't know what it's from. Ew. (laughs) Uh, to start with, um, ew. However, (laughs) I will say this. Uh huh. Probably would have been a little bit better with the blue light in the background, but otherwise, it's a pretty clean looking setup. I like it a little Buddha on the GPU there. And I'm pretty sure that's a, a mini ITX uh, board in there because yeah, the graphics card yeah. is like dangling off the bottom of the board. Uh, that's got to be mini ITX. Pretty dope. As, but, uh, as uh, close as that fucker is to <coughs> the power supply, you kind of expect it to be. And then. Here's the yeah. load up form. The doomsday device. It's showing that doom theme. <laughs> and um it's uh But you got some shit to bitch about this one, man. Okay. Well, 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 go ahead. I gotta I gotta show you before before you get going. I was like, boy, that's an interesting desk he's got there. Then I went to the comments and was reading. Oh no, no, it's it's two end tables with a fucking piece of wood he sticks in his lap. See, this is not, not a complete actual desk, see? It's a Okay, so here here's the thing with that. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. I, I don't hate it. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Here's why. Why don't you hate it, Doug? From the looks of it, it looks like that both his keyboard and his mouse are wireless. Would I be correct in that assumption? Mm, I haven't really looked too close. I think so. Now, for, for that particular instance, I can understand doing it like that. Because it looks like how Hurry has it set up. Like, he might have actually, like, uh, even though it's two end tables, it looks to be like, a, uh, like an office uh, rack there. First off, it looks like his PC is underneath. Am I mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, number one, it's not like he's sacrificing much as far as space goes. He's utilizing the rack well. Um, <laughs> giggity. He's, uh, right. he's utilizing the space in front of the rack with the two end tables. He probably <sighs> installed some sort of a bracket there. That way he could place it there when he's not using it. It's not like, I mean, even though it's off center, you could probably dock points on that. He's still using the space very well. And it doesn't look like he just kind of threw it together. It looked like he actually planned out how he was going to do it. And how much do you really see of that as far as cables go? It looks like his cable management is on point. And when he pulls out the lap desk, you see some wires dangling. But in general, it looks pretty hidden. Yeah, if you got the... Because he's got a little footrest there, it looks like, and then the... The lap thing actually is just a chunk of wood. Yeah. A wood? So, yeah. Overall, that actually is a pretty damn good setup because he, he probably couldn't afford much. He probably dumped a, a lot of his money into his setup. So it's, it, except he needs to get his fucking foot off the fucking end table. <laughs> 
But honestly, from the looks of it, from a space to cost perspective, he probably couldn't find a halfway decent desk at like a Goodwill or nothing like that. But he found a couple of tables and a, a, probably like a service rack of some sort there. So, and I don't believe with those type of uh, PC setups, you're doing much damage to it anyway. So, not not hmm. I'm actually pretty good with that. What, what do you think? Like, I don't I don't fucking know. But anyway, Sean, he's probably gonna call this next one a wee. Hold on, I'm I, I pulled up something else. I gotta read real quick. Okay. So what you been up to, Doug? Huh? Uh, what you been up to? Work. <laughs> and our last setup of the evening. <laughs> you know, I could take points off for the anime face. However, that's pretty damn clever. See, she's from uh, Overwatch. Yeah. And... and... Okay, people, let, let's let, let's have a serious fucking conversation here, real quick. Oh boy! <laughs> Stop it! Here we go. The, it looks like the fucking subwoofer on a fucking table. Where? Like anywhere else? <laughs> it looks like like uh, maybe maybe those are just really big speakers. But yeah, those are monitors. Yeah, just really big fucking speakers. Put them fucking somewhere else. Mount them on the wall. Make it look cool. Right there. Uh, uh, no, you don't want to mount speakers on a wall because they. Yeah, then I'm. It depends if they if they're off the wall, they vibrate and they will rattle the wall. They're meant to have an airflow a certain way. Uh, monitors, you know I mean, like even if he would have put a fucking monitor stand, like pulled everything out a little bit, it would have uh, improved the um, the LED lights that back it up and gave it a little bit more of a of an actual glow instead of just a a, a, a mini style of borderline look, but. Fuck, man! Like, if they were that okay, if they were smaller, for instance, I wouldn't have as much of a problem with it. But it takes up so much room. You know what I mean? What the fuck are you doing over there? I was just reading the happen. You know. <clears throat> so this one has a hundred and forty-eight. Upvotes, the Doomsday device has uh, has seventy five, and then this one only has eleven. Uh, what does that look like without the the backing? Do they have a picture of that? No. So that's number I'll three by default, just because you can't see what it looks like without the. Hellfire and Brimstone look behind it. Now, nah, Doug, this is, the Doomsday device is number three for me. This is my number one. This is my number two. And Doomsday is my number three. Doomsday is my number one just for ingenuity alone. Yeah. Well, then, I, I chose number one for my number one, so it looks like we're all divided on this one. Number one, I order you to take a number two. Well, that the internet like mine wah, missed, wah. so. Yeah, that one's my number two. Like, wait, wait a second. Wait, hold on. That yeah. was my number two. Uh, also. Maximize that it? again. Maximize that again. Bada boom. Uh, people, seriously. <laughs> Fucking weeb. What's the matter now, no. Doug? No, what's right in front of the <laughs> PC? Uh, a mixing board. Next to the mixing board. Oh, oh, uh, uh, incense. <laughs> That's incense. Well, it's got a lighter right there and a stick sticking out of it. Oh, or is it a vaping type thing or something? I don't know. I don't vape, bro. You sorry, you, you look at the left bro. side or the right side, right in front of the speaker oh, to the right. It looks like a cup, and I'm like, well, why? No, it, 
at least that's the way it look, looks from my perspective. But Looks like a cup with an incense. Okay, stick well, we're good. He doesn't get docked any more points, so that's just incense. We're good. Oh, I got all my beverages on the table right up here next to my uh, rig here, Doug. I'm drinking some uh, Jones uh, soda in honor of the new Fallout game. Because it's Jones new to Cola. That ball, that balls and stuff for a sec, Frank. Balls. I'm showing my balls. balls. Yeah, show. Show him, but not us. But you'll Except get. You, you'll get the balls, dog. I, I just meant your camera, Frank. I'm not. No. No, I'm already it's screen just sharing. A click of a mouse. No. I don't want to do it. No. Ah, no. Uh, you can't make me. Uh, once but once the screen share train leaves it it leaves, huh? Yeah. I screen share until the show's over. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Well, it's like you were trying to well, you're explaining stuff that you have on your desk where we can see it, but it's like, hey, look at this, except that I'm not going to show you. That and, you know, my webcam shows my face. I'd have to pick it up and dangle it in front of a webcam, and I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> now it's time for the news. Do, 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 do. Yo. <clears throat> Three D printing is just today's news. Westworld style liquid printing is the future. <coughs> a new printing method developed by MIT Self Assembly Lab and Steelcase has the potential to change the way we think about design. So, uh, let me see how long this is here because this is Ian's article. Okay, I can read some of this. 3D printing hasn't what? taken off as mainstream manufacturing process. At this stage in its development, its limitations outweigh its potential. Compared to injection molding pieces or sand casting, it's limited to small-scale production at a relatively slow speed. A new process called rapid liquid printing offers an alternative. It's fast, designed to tackle large-scale production, and doesn't rely on prototype materials, instead using rubber, foam, and plastic. Beyond its technical capabilities, it's simply a hypnotic to watch. Watch. So that's so basically, it, it like prints this material that catalyzes in this type of gel. So it's it's pretty interesting. Great. So we're in the fucking matrix, huh? Yeah. They said it was like what was they calling it? it was like some kind of style or something? It was it was Westworld, which is a show. Yeah, Westworld. I never I, saw that. It was well, it was a movie, and now it's a show. I've never watched it because it's HBO, isn't it? I think yes. so. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see the paying the money for HBO, and if you pirate HBO, they will come after you. Yep. But yeah, and then then we're gonna have robots put the you know uh, liquid uh, printed uh, stuff together, and then people will be dead, and robots will be printing each other, <laughs> and uh, talking about how stupid we humans were. Ha uh ha! -huh. It's kind. Right. It's, it's kind of like the. You ever hear of that gray goose scenario where it's like the little machines replicate each other until like the whole planet is consumed? Never heard That's that. Time on this old house. Now what we got here? Okay, so this is the forum post. They they provide some links and stuff, but I thought uh, the guy's summary of the article is like a lot shorter, so. This, this this part here is this the summary here this top, uh, or no, you, you kind of have to read a, a little bit of them. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> cool. Well, I, I mean, I can I can read it <clears throat> says as I warned in previous posts, industry really is going ahead with a everyone will run in the cloud from now on. You own nothing. That S A S or S A A S model basically. Three to five years from now, they will force everyone to use just about everything that is software in the cloud. Uh, the latest uh, prediction in gaming comes from the CEO of Ubisoft, a French company that doesn't know how to make good games. Uh, look at how sorry mess that Far Cry 5 is, but knows how to charge full market price for them. I, 
And the quote from it, I guess, was better start saving up for that PlayStation 5, Xbox 2, or Nintendo Switch that uh, last follow-up name idea is a freebie, by the way. Yeah, this was actually... That, that, that piggybacks on an article I had last week about how the guy from Ubisoft thinks that uh, the future is uh, stream machines. Yeah. I'll find the Basically, article. So they're saying... They're saying that these... Uh, the the next generation is going to be like the last generation consoles, you know. Heard that before. Hold on, but I mean, well, I mean, if we have if the we already discussed the reason this wouldn't happen mainly is because cloud gaming is nowhere near powerful enough to you know like. The, net, the no one has fast enough internet speed for this to be low, as low laden as it should. Well, I what? mean, do you think it's going to eventually go from instead of you investing in powerful hardware, do you're just going to invest in a powerful connection? Well, that's the thing, though. We don't get. If, if I could pay to have ten gigabit, I'd have fucking ten gigabit. But I'm stuck. I'm capped at a hundred, boss. Anytime I get more than a hundred, it's a fluke. <laughs> if you look it up, oh, in, <laughs> if if you look it up, my neighborhood twenty five is considered broadband speed, which is a fucking joke. This is twenty eighteen. Well, unless if you pay some ridiculous uh, fees for like the business class shit or whatever. Nope, even the business class here. That's nope. That that's it's the same thing. That they don't offer gigabit speed to anybody. Here, yet uh, they're working yeah. on, it, but we are nowhere fucking close. <clears throat> well, nowhere. I got stories about I got stories about that, but we'll we'll continue to go on anyway. But Not yeah, this to mention fucking Ubisoft talking shit about games. Ubisoft barely Ubisoft. knows what the fucking game the the, the word game means. <laughs> Just remember. So you agree uh, with that guy? Look up, uh, look up the gym position and the keyword ubiconic. No, that's cool. Gym position. Yep. I mean, yeah. If you had, you know, fast internet, then of course you could have a machine running all your graphics and then broadband shooting it to you. Because if all I'm doing is shooting, if, if I'm just looking at still images, I can click a, a scanned version of a book and read it perfectly fine by just hitting next, 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 next. But once you get into actual graphics with movement and anti-aliasing and all that complex shit, that goes out the fucking window. Shit's important. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway. Well, it's... It's just like the it's a trend in general though it goes it's goes way deeper than just you know video games like software and stuff they're moving over all the media that you consume it's like they just don't want you having anything it's all I about mean, control I guess yeah they can you know brick stuff a lot easier if you don't have the hard copy yeah a lot harder to reverse engineer it when you don't have it you're just leasing it. We had a you know, article not, about that a long time ago. I'm not, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, like whine and be like a tinfoil hat person and say that they're, uh, it's that's all on purpose. I mean, it could just be uh, a built-in obsolescence is coincidence, a, I guess. is is a factor in in uh, the financial market, and it's you know, it, it exists. We all know what it does. Otherwise, they wouldn't. Keep selling the latest and greatest. They'd make one thing and make it forever. It's your money. That's right. Uh oh. Laptops with 120 gigabyte of RAM are here. Brace yourself for laptops with 128 gig of RAM because they're coming. Today, Lenovo announced its ThinkPad P52, which, along with the massive amount of memory, also features up to six terabytes of storage, up to a 4K 15.6 inch display. 8th gen Intel Hexacore processor and NVIDIA Quadro uh, P3200 graphics card. Uh, wow. Now, 
Well, it's crazy though. They're they're like, oh yeah, this has 128 gigs, but then it's just like, it, they're like, oh yeah, it has a six core. It's like so big fucking deal. That's a six <laughs> core. Well, I mean, six terabytes. I mean, I mean it. You know, 4K and I guess it looks like you can run VR on it on your fucking laptop. It's like <coughs> so 2008. This this isn't your bro this isn't your mother's eight core there, Ian. Yeah. This is the this is the eighth gen Intel hex core, so it's got them Thunderbolt ports. Doug. Oh, yeah. Yo. But I'm sure Doug has no opinions at all about this. Fucking next. Honestly, it- It'd be great if you know the software was up to fucking par, but that's really the biggest issue I have currently. Is just Windows is still a shit bag, you know. It, shit uh, bag. So. Shit sure bag. About it. <laughs> What's the last Windows machine you had, dude? Oh fuck. Um, well, yeah, it's tons of them. As far as it's just the uh, question is which. One do you actively use? I have a Windows Seven machine that is about dead, um, just because the hardware just started going. It's a laptop, and that's like the last one I really have. I actually currently have in my possession a Windows XP machine that was used as a small media server for somebody, just for like 10, 15 movies. Um, that actually still operates and operates well. So I might be to doing something to that and just beefing it up, but that actually works and works well still. So, mm-hmm. just don't connect it to the internet. Um, honestly, I'm not, if I do anything with it, I probably won't. You know, um, if I can use it just for some standard, uh, you know, light work around the office here, I'm just might keep it that way. Adobe's Project Arrow in USDZ file format. Adobe Pixar and Apple uh, collaborating towards a single format for AR projects. Hmm. Hmm. So basically, these uh, different companies like Pixar and Apple and stuff are trying to, you know, like they're trying to mainstream uh, a file format. Um, mm. let me click on uh, the article that I sent you on my phone here. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so basically, Apple today announced USDZ for iOS 12, a WYSIWYG editor developed with Pixar. USDZ, according to Pixar, is a zero compression unencrypted zip archive designed to work with the USD runtime and doesn't require unpacking. Features include robust schemas for interchange of geometry, shading, uh, skeletal deformation, high-performance data retrieval, and rendering, uh, including powerful instancing features, the ability to package user selectable content variations, uh, n- natively a s- sound architecture that is flexible enough to adapt to future needs. And so basically this is like all, you know, like AR type tech that you're trying to get into, you know. All right. What do you guys think about that I- AR stuff? I mean, I, I know you guys don't really do the VR stuff or whatever too much, but. No. Nah. No, nah, I don't do none of that shit. The, all that shit just too gimmicky for you guys. Garbage. Well, I wouldn't say that. I just I I have a VR headset for my phone because they came out with one. But yeah, I mean, there's not. It's not feature rich. There's not. Ooh, look, I can use it. Okay, I put it up on a shelf and I haven't touched it since. So, what do what do you think about it, though, Doug? Like Apple is really. It seems like they're really trying to branch out more than they did in the past. In the past, they just made sure, you know, like they they're going to do something. They want to make sure it's, you know, like 100 percent 
the way that they want to do it, you know, or whatever. Unfortunately, Apple still has that uh, mentality. As much as I'm a big Apple guy, I mean, their entire thing right now is more based upon getting into things and then taking them over. And if they have something that they feel that they can jump on, they will, but they will wait until their tech is ready. No. We're going to change well, the way you do this. Now we don't want to do that, Apple. Yeah. <laughs> Apple will, just because they can, say, okay, we're going to change how you do it. Well, welcome to that, you know what I mean? Well, well it's, it's interesting, though, because... Yeah. Well, it's like some things, it's like, what really can you do that much differently about it? Because it's like, it's something specific. So if you're, if you're going to change it, then it's just something different. It's not that thing then, you know? Well, the thing you also got to remember, too, is, I mean, it, it's not just a front-end deal. You, know, you have a lot of software that runs on the back end, and Apple has this mentality of if they're going to do something, they will completely rework how it's done to get it to work the way they feel that it's optimal. And a lot of people think yeah. that's just doing more work than you need to do. But when you stop and think about it, if they think that their software can work better with hardware that way, more power to you. It still won't change the fact that uh, AR as a standard is pretty much dead. AR, I think that's actually the... I think that's actually the most practical thing that's going to go forward because you've got to look at logistics. You're not going to have a clunky headset. You can bu probably eventually build it into regular glasses and you can go about your day. You don't have to say, Oh, I'm sorry. I have to put on this headset and make the world disappear for an hour. No, you just walk around and it goes, Oh, by the way, here's a pop-up in your real life. Yeah. Uh, look at Pokemon go. Well, yeah. I mean, people are like, they had like some kind of tech demo where they had like a hologram or whatever with that shit with you talking to somebody and it's like it scans them in the room and so it's it's interesting stuff, you know. Huh. Then would you want to be able to see D Doug's body in 360? <clears throat> nah. Because he's full now. Nah. Nah, that's cool, you man. Projected. It's like he's sitting on your desk there. That's cool, boss. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Fucking nicks. Uh, hold on. I got a burp just hanging on the back of my throat. Hey, here's another one that pissed Doug off. Huge Apple Maps outage prevents... Fucking ad... Prevents all users from searching. Game directions. Update. Mysterious problems rendered Apple's navigation app nearly useless for hours. Just hours? It's always been fucking useless. <laughs> uh, it happens. There have been times I've used uh, Google Maps and it's been absolute fucking garbage. I've never noticed that. And I've used it for years. Google Maps, oh, yeah, Google Maps actually works better than GPS devices I've used. So, nah, I'm going to say that's uh, nah. Yeah. Not in my experience. Yeah, Google Maps is really like, you know, like that, the, what was it, like the Garmin, the other like GPS? That's probably put all those people out of business, Tom Tom. The, uh, it's, the, it's the diamond standard. <laughs> and... Everything's better than fucking, uh, what was the one before that, back in the day, MapQuest? Oh, my gosh. Let me give you 11 steps on how to get out of your driveway. Yeah. I Honey, know. I need another ream of paper. It hasn't told me how to get out of the driveway yet. Back up, then turn around, then back up again. Back that thing up. Apple Dude. Maps is working normally again. Right. Both location yeah. search and directions are working properly. An Apple updated system status page to reflect that the problem has been fixed. Location service problems 
and the native weather app also appears to have been resolved. It's been fucking fixed. Fucking next. Right. Old news. Fake news. Oh, here we go. New York threatens to revoke Charter's purchase of Time Warner Cable. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sure you probably have like a billion articles on this, too. Well, you know, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Talk about yourself. Oh, I'll find it. So, did, are you going to go get swole tonight, Doug? Most likely. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. What kind of place do you go to that's like the 24 7, huh? It's a private club that has a keyless entry. So. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Allowed a bunch, a lot. Have a homeless guy come in there, try to sleep on one of the uh, machines, you know, like the bench. No, it's the fact of people like the way that the place used to be run. Apparently, people would just come in and like not have paid. Walk in and bup, bup, yeah, bup, 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 walk in, drop their shit and go. Obviously, that no fucking stupid, but no. Nope. When you go there enough, I'm sure you're like everybody, you know, like you start to get to know people and stuff, you know, and you see the same faces, you know. Yeah. Well, my entire thing has always been. Uh, Plus, you have cameras. Yeah, it's got cameras and whatnot, but. And my entire thing there has just always been, you know what, I, I like I like going walking to a place where it's like hardcore, you know. Oh, cool, Henry. Yeah. <clears throat> so, your story. As opposed to soft core? Soft. Soft. Fucking Microsoft cool. service. New York threatens to revoke Charter's purchase of Time War Cable. A charter hit with $2 million fine for failing to complete network construction. This has been an ongoing thing for a Charter in New York. They, said, they told them they were going to... Extend the network and make it faster and bigger. And they dicked around, dicked around, and New York got tired of this shit. Well, two million dollars is like a dollar to them, so that's not really going to be a big deal. But I mean, but then the other is going to stop a merger, though. That's a big deal, right? Well, it's like we were saying about like Facebook when you know the EU or whatever. Was like, oh yeah. By the way, we're suing you billions of dollars. Wait, what? Yeah, that was. I, I must have something in my ear. I heard a B. B billions. That's right, motherfucker. Billion. Come for you. Billion dollars. <clears throat> um, Charter is using bad math. New York says. Second Scott. Charter continued to dispute the construction allegations today, telling ours that it has expanded its network infrastructure to bring broadband to tens of thousands of residents and businesses in New York State. Charter exceeded the latest construction deadline in December 2017, Man. and will and we continue to bring our merger obligations uh, or meet our merger obligations. The company said, but New York says that Charter has been wrong, wrongly counting addresses that already had service towards the requirement. Uh, for new construction. The commission previously threatened to terminate Charter's finance agreements with New York City. So, basically, they're full of shit. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean... We gotta have this merger, though. Come <clears throat> on, now. Hey, uh, what are you gonna do with this fucking merger, man? Time Order Cable. Give me two companies that neither of them fucking work that well. Instead of just one that does a damn thing. And yeah, with the merger, they're gonna one company is gonna fuck the other, and then they're gonna fuck us all. Right. So, <clears throat> was that your last? Uh, yeah, it was. Sir? I didn't go too crazy with the articles tonight. Aw. I have a whole bunch, but I'm not going to do them all. I'm just going to do whatever tickles my fancy. Well, I was I was copying and pasting into it a text editor on my phone. So <laughs> Yeah, that, that'll be a bit do it harder. 
The AT&T Time Warner merger and the end of net neutrality are a nightmare combination for consumers. AT&T's win in court means the telecom uh, conglomerate may soon own CNN, HBO, TBS, and a host of movie franchises. Yeah, their deal's been supposedly, you know, that'd be too big. They can't do that. And they fought it, and they fought it, and the you know, the court said, okay, yeah, sure, you could fucking do that. Because they're the thing was, they were complementary services. They weren't directly competing. Like, when uh, Sprint and T-Mobile were going to combine to, you know, your powers combined to make a shitty network. <laughs> I mean... That's uh, going to be the evil... <clears throat> who was like that, the, like the... On that Captain Planet where the, it was like pollution or something... Yeah, and, a bunch of, had, bunch like, of evil, and film. it was like an evil Captain Planet. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So basically, they're, it's going to become where it should be for consumers. It should be about your ISP wanting to provide faster, better infrastructure and service. Instead, they're going to go, well, no, no, see, if you sign up with us, you get this content that you can't get any other fucking where else. Because we're going to make it illegal for you to have it. Yeah. Well, it's like, I, I was wondering how many more companies have to gobble each other up and all like, people to be able to not get, you know, like uh, any kind of other access. Like, do that, does it have to be like so many people per county or something? Yeah, it's going to be, the there's going to be two companies. You're either online or you're not. So, yeah. That crunch had a good suggestion. And if, you, if you're not online, you can't. You can't run anything like your video game. Oh, or your you're right. You're right. Had an article about this, Ian. We're double dipping now. Ooh. Oh, well, what is you're, going, you're, going, you're going ass double to mouth. Like ice cream. Netflix and Alphabet need to become ISPs fast. <coughs> what, 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 Doug? You got something in your throat there? Oh, I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got something soft in your throat? No, but obviously you probably or got swole. soft in your backside, bro. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa. I bet you got something swole in your backside. Whoa. Yeah, it's called the actual muscles on the backside, bro. <sighs> yeah, sure. He's got I a muscle like in his side. backside. He said it. I heard him. I do like day sun. <laughs> I heard it too. <clears throat> so, we we talked about this one kid here before. Man jailed six years for threats made in RuneScape finally released. Uh, I we, we I think you guys the original uh, No Rights podcast did a story on this guy in 2012. He was a 19 year old and he was yeah. trolling this kid and he says, "I'm gonna go to your high school and." Do like Columbine. He says, I can't wait to blow brains out of skulls. And the FBI said, you going what? And he's like, dude, I wasn't serious. I didn't know this guy. And they're like, that doesn't matter, dude. And so now he's he served time and he's actually still under house arrest. I mean, all I got to say is, you dumb motherfucker. I don't... So he's like that kid in Disturbia now. Never seen that. Under house arrest. Uh, yeah, it's about yeah, a dude yeah, that gets yeah. put under house arrest and then um, you find that his like neighbors are murdered or something. Don't know that one. Oh, by the way, here's one that but, uh, Dub will like. Oh, uh, don't give him uh, an article you likes, man. Come on now. Why didn't anyone warn us not to play Fortnite on PS4? The Fortnite account issue is a ridiculous situation. Did you hear about this, guys? Either of you? Nope. I think I heard about it. Didn't they? Then, like the, the like, what is it? Someone from Microsoft or whatever tweeted to them, and they were like, "Hey, you want to play some Fortnite?" Yeah, basically, if you, excuse me, if you logged into your Fortnite account on a PS4 at any point, and then you tried to log onto the Switch, you couldn't do it. Oh yeah, there's no crossplay. Which they need to fucking do crossplay, fucking morons. 
And ladies and gentlemen, I'm a Sony guy. Come on now. That Sony needs to fucking get their dick out of the fucking cup of Joe and do something. Complete crossplay. 100% compliance is what we need. That Sony is locking Fortnite accounts to PS4 and players are mad. <laughs> that, was, that was the title no, I saw. I'll be like, uh, uh, what players? Uh, lots of them. And them 12-year-olds like them support. Apparently, there's some 10-year-old they said was so addicted to it. Or she wasn't a 10-year-old. Was she? Anyway, she was pl playing for 10 hours straight and just pissing and shitting in her spot. She didn't even get up and go to the bathroom. Just sad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Frank, does uh, the PlayStation have a lot of teraflops, too? I don't fucking know. Actually, hold on, I do know, but pull this up here. Uh, Sony's response to Fortnite controversy is embarrassing. Sony does not want to admit it has a Fortnite problem. So, they they did they had an answer. It's not a good one. Um, But... So instead of a, a Sony pony, it's a jackass, huh? No. Aw. Right, I'm John Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Um, speaking of down, Sony, down, down. PlayStation 5 will use AMD's Zen CPU Navi GPU report. So apparently they're getting getting dead AMD. AMD's nuts. Do you have any thoughts on that, Doug? Yay. If it works better, it works better. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's better well, than, re than uh, using their own fucking cell technology and fucking everything up for everybody. Oh, you see, I, I'd never, I had a PlayStation 2, but when the place, I never get, got a PlayStation 3 or 4, and then, like, I heard about that. It was supposed to be revolutionary, but and they're like, oh, yeah, it's amazing cell technology. What what was wrong with it? Uh, completely in-house and also fucking expensive. That's the problem. Mm. That's what made them, like, what was it, like, how much were they originally? Like, when the PlayStation 3 came out, it was, like, three, 600 yeah, that's why the PS3 was 600 to launch. Mm -hmm. uh, and w was it even that crazy of the graphics or whatever? No, the graphics were time. fantastic. It's just the point of so fucking expensive. Yeah. That's, that was the problem. So expensive. Oh, fuck. Seriously. <laughs> so, E3 just happened. And, uh... It did. I, I sat up and watched, uh, B3, Bethesda's, uh, little presentation. Um, man, they announced a lot of crap. So, if you've been under a rock, uh, there's Fallout 76. Elder Scrolls 6 is way up in the future. Starfield is way up in the future. Way up in the future? Or yep. way up in the future? Way up in the sky. Then Doomsday and Even, Doom Eternal. And then... Do you but, get into all those other Bethesda games, Frank? I never really hear you talking about them much. Well, see. I have Doom. I haven't played a whole lot of it, but I really appreciate it. Um... I have Skyrim and some of the older Elder Scrolls games, but I'm not as into them as other people. Like, I'm like, boy, I'd be pissed if I were, you know, you guys. And they're like, no, they they teased uh, Elder Scrolls Six. I'm like, all they did is confirm that it exists. But Four years later, but no, they've got the Elder Scrolls Blades. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Basically, that's I, like, I, I do. They do that stuff, man. Like, I see people do that. What do you call it? Like, that Squidward meme or whatever. SpongeBob thing. On other... Yeah, do they just do that with their own voice or do they have some kind of thing? 
like automated thing that you just type in whatever you want and it does it for you? I don't know. I mean, SpongeBob's been around since the 90s, legit. So <clears throat> they've been on it for a minute. There's plenty of them to pull from. Anyway, so the new Elder Scrolls Blades is cross platform where you could play on your fucking phone. <laughs> and their thing is with computer quality graphics, I'm like, uh huh. Sure. I have a I have an article on that. The guy says it's buttery smooth, but I'm like, sure. But their thing is you could be they're like, we wanted the whole thing to be playable in portrait mode. So you could be at a meeting looking at your phone, playing fucking Elder Scrolls, and no one knows you're at the conference playing Elder Scrolls on your phone. Oh. <coughs> and you could be playing Elder Scrolls on your phone against somebody who's at home playing in VR. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then they another Elder Scrolls Legends, which is a digital card game, which I don't give a flying fuck about. They, an, they announced Elder Scrolls Six, which is they just showed a fucking castle, some mountains, and the text. Ooh. I don't give fuck. I don't give fuck. I don't give fuck. But but everyone knows the show stealer. What? Was Fallout seventy six? Bum, bum, bum. I, basically... I saw a uh, <clears throat> it was, I saw a GIF where it had Fallout seventy six, and then you had the, the opening screen was you opening up a Pip Boy and then playing the Elder Scrolls Skyrim on your Pip Boy. <laughs> uh, well, Elder see... Scrolls Skyrim coming to Pip Boy. Well, see that actually. Lends into another article I had. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it, no, see, if there was a, a gag. If you watched, you can watch the whole thing online now. But <sighs> if you watched it, they had a joke with with uh, Keegan Michael Key, Key and Peel, where. Yeah, I was, I was asking Frank about that. It's like, it's crazy. You got some kind of like computer. A display on your wrist, but they they just everybody still has like old tube TVs and radios and stuff. Well, okay, to to break it down into the simplest form, in the timeline of Fallout, it's where it deviates from our timeline. They don't invent the transistor, so everything still has tubes. And then the Cold War doesn't end, and we still are at war with Russia and China. So the communists are after us. So and that that little wrist thing with the display on it—that's it's all off a tube somehow. With the display. Shit. Yeah, it runs off yeah, nuclear power and all that shit. But anyway. Hmm. The anyway, the article at hand <laughs> is yeah. they did a, a, a you know a joke teaser trailer with Keegan uh, Michael Key of uh, Key and Peel <clears throat> playing Skyrim very special edition on his Echo. And uh it's an audio version of the fucking game, and it's adorable. It's funny, and they're like also available on your Samsung, you know, uh, smart fridge. And then I didn't know till I was watching an interview with with uh, some of the reps from I don't remember exactly which one. Some of the reps from Bethesda, and no, that's an actual thing. It's not. It's cute and it's funny. But no, they really did make a fucking version that you can play on Alexa. Hmm. You can actually download it to your Echo. So you can say, uh, you know, Alexa, play Skyrim. Alexa, move my character five yeah, they, degrees. And they're like, they're like, yeah, we, you know, we joked around. We're like, you know what, fuck it, we'll go ahead and do it. So, but yeah, you know, this guy says Elder School Blades plays as smooth as butter, and I've just kissed my free time goodbye. Oh. So there you go, Doug. You can play it on your iPhone. No, no. I'm gonna play it on my toaster. Now, th like I said before, they announced two new Wolfenstein games. The one is just a VR from the current. Um, Excuse me, line of uh, playing, which what I've seen is it doesn't look like anything I can get into, so I don't care. But then the other game they teased 
is a co-op with BJ's twin daughters. And twins? Twins. They're in the 1980s, they're in Paris. See, the alternate timeline in their history, Ian, is the Nazis won. So we've been Yeah, we've been trying to fight them the whole time. A lot of people some people actually were offended at the language in the B3 uh, conference where they're like, you know, how you know, why'd they do that? That's so immature. And I'm like, okay, I like when they announced uh, uh you know, Wolfenstein. They're like, you know, we're taking our uh, tag of a uh, you know, killing fucking Nazis <laughs> to the <laughs> to the mainstream. I'm like that's what you do. You're killing fucking Nazis. And then when they announced the collector's edition of Fallout 76, they're like, it comes with a map that glows in the fucking dark. <laughs> and it sold out the day of. Now it was the $200 collector's edition. If you want to buy it, it's $300 and up on eBay. No, thank you. Shit. So, no, I'm going to just... Uh, Nazis. That sounds like Inglorious Bastards. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna get the. I I went ahead and pre-ordered the uh, the tricentennial edition, which is the deluxe edition. It's basically the same as the collector's edition, just without all the physical loot, like the helmet and the map and the collector pieces. You get just uh, the so game and a ten box. Hmm? Basically, you pre-ordered the next game, but you haven't even really started the current game. Fallout Four? Are you kidding me? I'm I'm two hundred no, hours. Uh, oh, I thought we were talking about Wolfenstein. Sorry. No, Wolfenstein is. They've just released the teaser trailer. Is all they've done. They haven't said anything about it yet. Oh, well, I was just gonna be like, that'd be so funny. If Frank gets just starts playing the next Wolfenstein game and totally forgets about the one he was on right now. No, no, no. I have like, I have like four straight hours in it. It's, it's. It's just not as uh, it's more linear than I would like, so mm. I I find it a little less like you like the I, exploration. And I like open world. The Fallout, huh? I like to walk around and do my own thing and and stumble upon the quests. I don't want to be okay. Now you have to go here. Now you got to go there. Oh, you got backtrack. I didn't like that shit when I went to the mall. I don't like it there. <laughs> but yep. Frank, hey, what I've learned about you, Frank, is you, you hate going by guidelines you you just like doing whatever the fuck you want imagine that shit right one last thing about um fall fallout 76 because i know you all are tired of hearing about it. um it, this is actually a good thing here <clears throat> in the opening of uh, the trailer and everything they have a cover of country roads by john denver and it'll be sold on itunes to raise funds for charity for habitat of humanity so, starting July fourth, you can go to iTunes and buy it. And yeah, I was, I, uh, <clears throat> go ahead. I was I was gonna say for Doug, me and Frank were talking earlier about. And I'm sure you'd agree with it, Doug, that they really put in like a lot more production into the music, like the the Doom, and the Quake. I mean, you know, with music like the Trent Reznor and the Nine Inch Nails, because you could actually put a lot of people didn't know you could actually put the a uh, computer game CD into your, you know, like your CD player, and it would have tracks on it. Oh yeah, I, I think the biggest uh, thing that people are starting to realize is just how much work is going into the music these days. You know, um, for instance, you know, a game like a Doom that Trent Reznor did and stuff like that is just like this. What I would call just the beginning. You know, uh, I mean, that was a while ago. I mean, just there's yeah. a lot more stuff anymore that is now being more dependent because people are starting to see that there's there's more of a uh, the word I'm looking for. It's more of an audience than most people used to think there was. Um, right. Through that. <sighs> I have a boring company, not a flamethrower. Now I have to figure out what to do with it. But what are you going to do with a flamethrower, my boyfriend asked me. 
what will I do with the flamethrower? This kind of question a person who never owned a flamethrower ask. In any event, it's too late. I already bought the thing. If you remember, the boring company was making flamethrowers, and then they had to say, not flamethrowers, because people were like, you can't just buy a flamethrower. <laughs> so, so they had to like call it something different. Yeah, and they sold this was to finance uh, was it SpaceX? I can't remember, but they sold like was it twenty thousand or something stupid? We're gonna call it a flame transporter. Oh no, he just called it not a flamethrower, just fire to... mover. <clears throat> yeah, so. But we were talking about uh, internets. Verizon's new phone plan proves it has no idea what unlimited actually means. Wireless car uh, that wireless carriers have already demonstrated an inability to understand what unlimited actually means, offering phone plans that habitually throttle customers who use more than 26 gig or so of data every month. However, with the release of its new Above Unlimited Plan, Verizon is pushing the mental gymnastics carriers employ to define Unlimited to a whole new level. In addition to its Go Unlimited and Beyond Unlimited plans, Verizon is now adding a premium Above Unlimited Plan to the mix, which offers 75 gig of unlimited data per month, as opposed to the 22 gig of unlimited data you get on less expensive plans, along with 20 gig of unlimited data when using your phone as a hotspot, 500 gig of Verizon cloud storage, and five monthly international travel passes, which are daily vouchers that let you use your phone's wireless service abroad, the same as you do uh, where in the U.S. <clears throat> so basically, they're throwing the fucking word unlimited in there and hoping people are too stupid to pay attention. Yeah. Well, I saw some places, like, internet providers will say unlimited <laughs> gigabytes or whatever, so... Uh, but yeah, like, 20 megabytes, that's, like, really not anything you know you ever see uh when someone writes out you know you could find 100s of the and it's like i know you're saying you could find hundreds but when you put a 100 in front of it that's a very specific number hundreds yeah. sounds nice and vague it could be 900 800 no just 100 with an s hundreds. <laughs> Report, Netflix bans employees from looking at each other for more than five seconds. Now, now uh, is that like an actual banning them or like just a pop-up that pops up in front of them after five seconds and says, we noticed that <coughs> you're still looking at them. Are you still looking at them or are mm -hmm. you not? I, I, this actually was on, the, I heard this on the radio. And they're like, guys, it's so stupid. I don't know if it's made up or not. Huh. Harassment in the workplace is a serious and persuasive problem, and I'm very glad to, uh, that the Me Too movement has done to bring this issue to serve. Oh, boy. they're Basically, they're like, don't stare at people. Don't fucking stare. Five seconds, it's over. I have my life for those of you that uh, are curious. This is my other dog, Nico, the German Aww. Shepherd. Aww. So the tail wagon. Yeah, he's getting excited. And yes, they did name him after Nico Bellic from uh, GTA 4. Aww. Uh, Zoe wants... Uh... Oh, whoops. It... For you, what button is it to? Yeah, there you go. Zoe. Aww, so this pretty. is a big dog theme show. Pretty puppy. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, <clears throat> what are you talking about, Frank? What oh. you're saying words and stuff? Words and <laughs> dog, 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 dog. Look at the dog. So I this is from my what the fuck articles section here. I normally put Apple stuff all together, but this title saw multiple coverage of this here. Apple, don't use your iPhone to mine cryptocurrencies. <clears throat> <clears throat> Apple has updated its developer guidelines to outlaw cryptocurrency mining on iOS devices. 
The new rules restrict apps that drain battery, uh, generate excessive heat, or put unnecessary strain on device resources, all of which take place in Bitcoin mining. Yes, Ian? Hmm. Stupid. Don't they know they got to use uh -huh, those ant nothing. miners? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is my parents' setup here. I'm doing a vlog now. It's vlog time. The battle station is. This is one of those. This is one of those. Uh, those sharp LED TVs. They had like, you remember that thing where they had it has like a, a fourth color channel, which was yellow. So it was red, green, blue, yellow. I guess it was supposed to, like, widen the gamut of more colors or something like that. But it's, I think it's like a sixty inch. Hmm. And there's, this is the Android box that was doing everything on with my four terabyte hard drive. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I have two more articles, and then I'm for the night, guys. Was that is that all right with you? That's all right. All right, my that's a nice. <clears throat> nice. Okay. I don't know if you all remember. What oh, my, by the uh, way, he's got a fishy too. That's nice fish. Here, fishy, fishy. Big fish. So, I enjoyed the series Alder Carbon. Because I read the book, I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed the show. <clears throat> and they're cons I don't know what sources they're pulling here exactly, but they say season two might completely skip the next novel. Because they consider it prohibitively expensive in scope. Um, I'm, I, I, you know... When the first one came out, what did I say? I was like, boy, if they stick to the you know sequence in the novels, I really won't want to watch the second one, but I want to see the third one. If they skip the second one altogether and go to the fucking third one, I, I, I might be in love with this. Hmm. Well, I love to tell you what. Oh, Bobby. Tell you what, Bobby. Did either oh. of you guys watch this show? I have not gotten a chance. I need to check it. I, yeah, me neither. I need to check it out, though. It, it, it's, you know, what they call that, Um, I guess, like, cyberpunk kind of, like, you know, neat, like, the setting, the, the when they actually go out into the planet and walk around, it's, like, looks like Neo Tokyo Blade Runner style. And my uh, co-worker that's seen all the Blade Runners and all that, he says, oh, their setting, they did Neo Tokyo better than you know, even actual Blade Runner, which was a movie. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, they did a really great job. So it was That's great cool. and truth faithful to this, you know, book. I thought it was really good. Um, <clears throat> hoping it stays that way. Now, this I heard on the radio and I had to share. A radical plan to split California into three states earned spot on November ballot. Um, yeah, basically, California is so goddamn big <laughs> that yeah. they said, well, look, we're going to split it up into Northern California, SoCal, and then this little strip. And <clears throat> this is just, you know, proposed to be, you know, on, just to get it on the ballot. And then the citizens fucking vote on it. I mean, it's basically the entire length of the U.S., and, at, you know, when it was first founded, I'm sure it was a lot of, you know, empty lots. Not so much anymore. Yeah. You know, they're way overpopulated and it's so hard for them to do. You know, so hard for them to get anything accomplished. So, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? Yeah. 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 I just heard that and I went, what? And I'm like, well, I get, yeah, that makes sense. The fucking place is huge. Yeah. Oh, puppy. Yeah, she went around. So what are they I just forget what the kind of, two dogs now? Is that what they got there? 
Yeah. I think... I think this is the ashes of my Bella here. Hmm. Yeah. Passed away, unfortunately. Yeah. I've never had a dog, though, so, like, yeah, I'm sure for my parents it's, like, really hard, you know, but I was pretty mm-hmm. close to it, I guess. I mean, I, I've only lived with our dogs the time I've been with my wife, and they're... You know, it, 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 yeah. It, I'm not, I don't ever plan on having children, so that's as close as I'm going to get. And it's, I know everyone's like, how can you compare it? And it that, that's, that's it. That's where I'd stop. <laughs> Boy, let me right. tell you what. Oh, what you need is some propane and propane accessories. I'll tell you what. I wonder if that guy that played Cotton was still alive. Oh. Uh, I have to Google it. Probably not. People die, Ian. Yeah, probably not. Doug, I was telling Ian. Yeah. Th- today I realized in 2003, Johnny Cash died. So it's been this September, it'll have been 15 fucking years. Isn't that mind blowing? Shit, man. Can hold his body down. Yeah. What is this? A really bad horror movie? Need a jump scare. (laughs) Someone to jump out of the fucking corner. (laughs) Timmy, Timmy. No. You guys go to a pool? Pocket pool. Pocket pool. (laughs) <laughs> That's the basement. My dad redid up the basement and stuff. Oh. Uh, it was just one giant, you know, like basement here, and then he did all the drywalls and wiring and stuff, you know. And then he built this safe where he keeps his money. It's real weird. <laughs> Show you the combination. Oh, here's like his money. Listen, and, and here's his panic room. And his yeah. pen is one, two, three, four. Have you seen uh, Deadpool two yet? Who me? I neither of us have seen it, but I'm okay. Frank okay. Is, should be ashamed of himself for not seeing it because he. That's like Shut up! Movie. You haven't seen Pulp Fiction yet. I don't give a fuck about the movie. <laughs> you, you like Dead? You love Deadpool, so. Have you seen any Quentin Tarantino movies yet? Okay, Quentin Tarantino is a director. Yeah, I saw Kill Bill. Uh, both parts. Yes. Okay. That's but I mean then again, granted that's probably like way more. It's like really mainstream, so it's like everybody watch kill. Uh, there are some people who are like, "Dude, fuck that shit." Yeah, there are. I like Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown's boss. I actually have boss. I think I'm at the point where I have all of them. I think no, wait. I'm still missing uh, Reservoir Dogs because my old copy was uh, DOA. So I have pretty much everything except for Reservoir Dogs and True Romance, but I really don't consider that a Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh, I love that movie. That's the only one of his entire writing that I have never seen. Just Was he like, uh, oh, you've never seen it? That's the only one. Oh, I love it. Samuel Jackson. Oh, that natural born killer. He's, I don't have natural born killers, but I've seen it. He's. <laughs> hey, did he, you hear that they're coming out with the new Devil's Rejects movie? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's called Three from Hell. You going to watch that? Yes. Yeah, probably me too, probably. What about you, Frank? Nah, I don't give a shit. You're not a big Rob Zombie fan? I had to be in the mood to watch. Zombie. Zombie. Uh, yeah. He's very he's very anal about his stuff. His Halloween movie, he was like, and then the guy takes the fucking knife, but not just any knife. <laughs> nah, that's okay. I, I want the knife. My wife loves all the Halloween movies, and she's like, yeah, fuck that Rob Zombie one. He gets way too... Yeah, I'm like, yeah. See, I was a big fan of both of them, 
like the first one was uh, somewhat cut and paste from the first one. You know what I mean? Um, but like, I also really liked the second one because of how off it was. It was a very, very mental movie. And that was something I really liked. I really dug that. Well, uh, Doug, since you hardly ever come on anymore, do you have anything to plug before we uh, kick you out of here? <laughs> well, in specific, yeah. uh, not, not as of yet. I'm still getting this uh, travesty of a room together and trying to get some stuff because oh. I shifted everything up here. I, uh, not, uh, my chair is gone now. I couldn't fit it up, uh, up everything. So, like, I'm not going to be able to do, like, a really long podcast or anything. Mm. Like my ass hurts right now. <laughs> Just mm. sitting in this, like this is the old chair. So I had to get a cushion for mine. Mars, like we well, should have got a better chair. And I'm like, no, the chair is fine. It's just the actual part where your ass sits on. I I, I sit here for five hours straight. <laughs> yeah. I've thought about uh, seeing if there's any small futons out there available. I could just put right behind me, and I'd be cool with that. I'm going to have to mm. put in a, 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 a larger um, uh, light of some sort or some LEDs or something to really, you know, illuminate this fucking room. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> I got some moving to do around here because I got the my 32-inch is actually right here now, which is on my desk. But I have uh, a new... 42 inch that I just obtained from a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine's mom. She gave it to me because she got a brand new LED. This is like the first HD TV ever made, apparently, as far as a small flat screen. So it doesn't have HDMI. So I'm going to use it as like a retro station. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hook up my uh, VCR thing to this. And it's going to like be fucking boss. So like I have a lot of work to do. Um, I'm still doing the videos for YouTube. I still have a lot of other stuff going on. I'm just busy. Like, uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes I want to be sick and not do a dance. Novels and shit. Huh? What about your novels? Novels I'm still working on. Like, a lot of that is kind of slow coming right now. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of taking a mental break from the book for a couple of weeks. Just because I have some yeah. things I want to work out, but that's still coming along pretty well. What about the photography? Uh, photography, I'm just probably waiting for a good day to go out and, and do some more photography. Um, yeah, I was telling better. Frank that I I was out taking pictures today and I got sunburned. Look, it's wow. crazy. But uh, I'm trying to save up. For a new camera, I sh should be able to get it in a few weeks. I was going to get that Canon ADD. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I like I, yeah. I. There, there's part of me that wants to go back to uh, doing another graveyard project, but I was so spooked out by the old, uh, by the first one. I don't know. Mm hmm. So. Uh, uh, hey, you been watching any more wrestling? Oh, yeah. We got Money in the Bank and NXT yeah. TakeOver coming up this weekend. So, got to keep up on that shit. Come on now. Come on now, boy. What about the podcast? Huh? Podcast. Uh, like I said, once I get everything situated to where I can do shit correctly, I'll be podcasting again. Okay. Yeah, you were saying maybe last weekend or whatever, but I never, never heard nothing from you. No, uh, last Sunday was a little bit of a wash. I, I ran into some extra other, other the other stuff that I had to get, get done. I'm like, damn. So. Mm hmm. Turned into a very screwy day. But. Sounds screwy. Oh, yeah, well. Sometimes your plans don't end up to happen the way you think they are, and just the way it goes. Are those cardio confessions you do pretty easy to put up? Because you put those up, like, all the time. Yeah, because all you really got to do is when I'm at the gym, I just set up, hit record, and go. 
Uh, that's yeah. basically during my cardio sp specifically. Yeah. So, I mean, rather than just sit there and stare at a wall and not socialize or anything, because there's nobody to socialize with, because I go so late, I can do it with the cardio thing and, you know, get in a video, something that's good, nice quality, and get it up. So. Hmm. What about you, Frank? Did you, have you ever tried to stream anything from your phone? Because it's like, why well, not? We tried the Hangouts before, and it was like it wasn't letting us do it. I remember from mobile, you know, you had to set it up on a desktop first. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that shit for my phone. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, I don't even stream Cardio Confessions. I just, oh, you just record it, huh? Yeah, I shoot it and upload it later. So, uh, no, nah, dog, no. Nah. As long I, as people are be like, I it has to be now. It, Not if, up, no. Frank, if you ever do, if you do get into like the streaming and stuff, like with your, you know, your games and everything, are you gonna, if you get some people watching, are you gonna get into the chat because you're gonna have to moderate that shit and be involved and shit? Well, you already know I ban motherfuckers. Ban hammer. <laughs> ban hammer. <laughs> Ban's coming. What about you, Doug? Do you have to moderate any stuff yet? Oh, uh, well, it depends sometimes. Uh, mostly because a lot of the places, uh, like I've done stuff like, uh, you know, oh, there's one thing I want to talk about before we go. But um, I never really had to do a lot of moderation, except for a couple times on some older YouTube videos where someone jumps on and they're like, oh, this bad guy, <laughs> So, the but, Swedish chef is watching your YouTube videos. <laughs> um, I'm actually starting to do uh, some streaming on you now, though. So that's really um, nice. What? Now? what about me? The app is called You Now. You do live streams, and uh, it's actually in app chats as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I was actually really, really impressed with it. It's called really, me now. It's really simple and, you know. Doug, is it called me now? You now. No, it's me, Maul. So it's me. No, it's <laughs> called Frank's Maul. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> nah, Doug. Hey, that, that forehead starting to resemble uh, Jack's films. Yeah, I was telling him when he gets older, you should grow out a skull, at, you know, where it's like a mullet but bald on top. That's okay. I got a forehead. You got a five head. Yeah, but my shit looks way better than yours, so. Mm, nah. That's all right. Don't hate the play. I hate the game. Yeah, anyway, Frank, you wish you were getting swole. In my pants. Ew. Well, anyway, <laughs> thanks for coming on, guys. I've had fun. It was something. Right? It's been a thing. We did stuff. Right? Yeah, it was a thing. Well, thanks for coming on. Um, something you... Some, just to remind you, something you can't get back. Yeah, these are hours of my ass is just going to wish it still had. But Would you be doing anything more meaningful in your life, though, Frank? Sleeping is meaningful. I guess. And on that mercenary note, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> Okay. Well, <laughs> everyone. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Say goodbye, Zoe. Say goodbye, Zoe. Oh, Zoe. Okay, guys. And one, two, three. Bye, everybody. <laughs>